Dragons following the continuing campaign of the Dawn Forged Company. Now, last time they fought the rogue air prince Yan Si Bin as they found themselves in the air elemental plane through various uh, puzzles and tests that had led them there. Uh, he tried to claim that he was, uh, of course, the the prince of all Arakokra and had a very tempting offer for Uza that was basically, hey, serve me and you as a race, if all Arakokra serve me, all the Arakokra will have immortality. Sweet deal? Uh, apparently not. Uh, <laughs> Uza deciding that he wasn't going to make a decision for his entire race and deciding that, you know what, this guy... Uh, got everybody to attack Yansi Bin and his uh, leftover elemental spirits uh, that were flying around. Um, the fight was went really well, uh, actually, uh, in spite of... Uh, <laughs> so Mesnos at one point cast Fly so the, uh, the barbarian and fighter could get in there and do their thing. And then Yansi Bin teleported, punched him out... And the fighter and barbarian fell, but before they got too far... To death, uh, you say. To death, you say. <laughs> a very tricksy uh, wizard threw up a f wall of force, and Featherfall was also thrown, so that way they landed gently onto the wall and were able to walk back up to the platform. A, a wizard? <laughs> I have no no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you said it, Nami. All right, and then... Um, I am absolutely a conjurer of cheap tricks. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't afford it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but as the battle had died down, you all started looking around for really what you were going to do next. What, uh, what you were going to go, how you were going to get there. And out into the distance, you saw... A bunch of small flying creatures coming closer and closer. Uh, and as uh, Uza was the first to make it out, clearly a few Aarakocra flying in at a pretty decent speed. And at the front of them, he recognized Skrael. His brother. Skraal. Scra sorry. You're Skraal, he's Skraal. That's my bad. Uh, Skraal, his brother, leading a group of Aarakocra. And as he closes in now. Is there anything anybody would like to do before the Aarakocra arrive? I'm just going to sit down and gone forge into the, um, into the sky. That's right. So down for symbol. I'm just gonna sit down, and try not to throw up, because I was just falling really fast. Good plan. <laughs> they fly closer and closer. I'm gonna and fly out from the platform and start to meet them. Perfect. You also fly out to meet them. You see, leading about ten feet in front of all of the others, your brother behind them different types of Aarakocra all in several different types of armor but you see all of the armor no matter the color of it, the shape they all have a sapphire blue crystal on the chest piece it takes up a decent portion of the chest and they fly closer and closer and the winds start to die down a little bit, it kind of calms Soon, you can see your brother smiling as he starts to fly even faster and leaves the others behind. He's so excited, he flies directly for you, going for a mid-air hug. Oh, same. You fly both in air, hug. It is, you're, you're hugged back with a fierce intensity of, although a brother long gone. And you just hear in your ear, brother. I, I had not I had not thought I would see you so soon. You look better than when I left. I'm, I'm just like touching him, making sure. He's doing like almost the are same you really, thing. Are you, He's just like kind of holding really, and staring you down. <laughs> are you, you really here? 
<laughs> no, you're really here! How did you even make it here? Oh, it's... it's oh, um... Oh, I've missed you so much. I... There he goes, just another gigantic hug oh. as he's just laughing. I lean over to Bloodscale. I think they're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's, right. it's my brother! Nailed, Nailed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I got an, Hello. Um, you your brother's been pretty great, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, overall he gets like a thumbs up from me anyway. <laughs> I have He's no doubts. And then uh, I'm just, it's. I'm gonna wrap him in really close, like extra tight, and just. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing to apologize for. It was not up to us. It was fate. I'm sorry as well. And he hugs back. Um, the rest, all of you should be able to... Ooh, thank you, Sub Albino, for the 13 months in a row! We have started. Yeah, that so is many correct. Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, if all of you would like to see what uh, Scrawl, uh, Scrawl all looks like right now. Um, I released the uh, handout. He looks really Regal cool. AF. Oh, yeah. AF. <laughs> um, you, you, you gotta... You gotta... Uh, you gotta come meet my my friends. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> you have to meet the rest of us. The rest of the Azure Guard. And he kind of smiles again. Oh, shit. Um, how many are Croker are with him? Is it just these seven? Yeah, yeah just just the, the six of them. Um, everybody, this... My brother, Scrawl. <laughs> Hello, Scrawl. Hi. Um, Hi. Hey, Bird What's Bros, bro. <laughs> Mesno, Zephyr, Vicer. Hello. Exotic. Oh, Hello. Ah, another planar traveler, I see. Good day. Ah, one of the folk of the desert sky. You might also know our, our god in some way. If you've heard of Talos, Talos is also a Kadi. I do. Like, <laughs> we respect your god as well. As do we yours. For Horks fight for nothing if not for freedom, right? <laughs> and, uh, oh, I suppose I always forget. And then he kind of like fly. He like gestures to you, Uza, to go fly and, and like stop flying and land. Like he, he, you can tell oh, he's yeah. so used to just flying that he didn't even occur to him to like come down and like shake everybody's hands and everything. He's, you can see, he's been in the air for so long at this point that it's not even a thought to him. Right. So, um, do you know? Yeah, I mean, Akadi and all that, right? Like you've you're you're caught up on that, are you? <laughs> yes. Um. Yes, I am. All right. So that's good. Um, I don't know. Do, um, do you know about the, uh, you know, Nightmare Edge and all that? The Nightmare Edge? No. Well, you know, I mean... I know f Fobator, and the incursion is taking up a lot of our time, of course. Well, it's afraid of. Is that why you're here? Uh, um, kind of. What? What? Oh, hold on. Um, what? What brought you guys? What? Hi, everybody else. Um, I turn another is your guard. Um, they kind of nod each in turn. You see, one is like uh, starting from the the one at the very top. He's this very clearly like just like this golden eagle, and he has golden armor uh, with his blue gem in the center of his chest. Uh, his helm kind of comes up and then emulates like air flowing off the sides, and he's like. Reherak. And he kind of nods and bows. Um, and then the next one down. Uh, he has kind of more intricate armor. He is kind of based more off of like a... What are they called? Like more of like a... I'm almost... Not like a... Not like a... What are they called? My brain had just died on me. Bird of Prey. Not a hawk. Falcon? Falcon, thank you. <laughs> More like a, a Falcon. Falcon 7. 
uh, and but his armor is like a little bit lighter, more silver, but more intricately as designs all the way through it. Um, you recognized the sign of Akari um, almost in in like eight different places as you look at his armor, and then intricate wind like carved as well around it. Ulal, he says as he bows. The next one looks more like a peregrine falcon, and he's wearing only a chest piece to hold the the blue and along with some shoulder pads maybe and some bracers other than that he wears no armor at all and he bows and then blow him in what seems to be impossibly heavy armor to fly in you see a horned owl Arakokra. i am ig and then hello ig at the the last one at the bottom is another golden eagle Arakokra. Wearing similar to to the one at the top, but slightly different. Uh, it's more bronze instead of gold. He's like, I am Ararak. He also uh, gives the Hello. bow. And I'm Skra'el to... Uh, once again, don't worry, I've got a handout for you. Okay. Thank you. And uh, as that... I am Skra'el of the Azure Guard, servants of Akari. Her right hand, and those who deliver her message with that needs a little more than words. I wouldn't say justice, but I would say necessary for it. <laughs> and he kind of laughs to himself. That's good, because his bow is Akadi's justice. It is? Ha! He looks oh, at you. Uh, uh, show him the bow. I, yeah, I, I made it. It's well, kind of. It's careful. There's same... a probably pissed off dragon in there. Hmm. Yes. That... Also, that I can take uh, the dragon back if you want. I mean, it's up, it's up to you. Is... Really We're writing a Bible, so I kind of need him. This <laughs> is all. Okay. I, I I don't want to get uh, too uh, weird or anything, but we did just kill someone. Uh, could you tell us maybe some what we should expect for to happen? <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Since, since... Who did you kill? Yan Si Bin. Very. That's good. <laughs> the very person we were hunting. Oh, oh good. I was a little worried that you were coming to help him for a second because <laughs> that was going to be weird. I'd be like, you're my brother. Like, he's our friend. And I'm just really glad this. <laughs> I'm talking too much again. <laughs> you cannot talk enough. <laughs> well, his shadow exists, I guess. Still, oh, right? shit, yeah, I still have a shadow. Did I get any memories from that? Uh, yeah, remember you got the, the glimpse of, like, um, how he saw it as unfair. As the only way for him to be free was for there to be nothing that could control him or be more powerful and above him. So his right. the mere existence of Akari is oppression to him, and he can't... And he, he basically creates his own suffering under that yoke when Akari does not care to control him at all and never has total dick a pitiable creature unfortunately and I don't think unfortunately no matter how many times we destroy his physical body he seems to keep coming back oh Ari I'd be happy to kill him again for you oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely no yeah it wasn't it wasn't that hard it was it wasn't that hard Really? <laughs> Come on, man! I'm trying to impress my brother. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We kind of. We kind of. Uh, it wasn't as hard as a pissed off ancient red dragon. So I mean. Yeah, not yeah. just whooped up. Uh, we were. Dead. Remember, like I shot him in the neck, and you blew him up with a fireball. Like team. Yeah, that was like crazy. <laughs> Ula like just super beat his chill. face in with a sword. It was great. Yeah, super chill. No biggie. You seem to have found your own Dazzler God. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, the Don Forged Company. <laughs> Don Forged Company. Perhaps you've heard of us? Uh, they took me in in, uh, in Verder. In Verder? You've been traveling with them a while then. Yeah. How yeah. do you know when he was last in Verder? Well, that's where we were originally headed when all of this happened and I ended up here. Uh, I don't know. Apparently, you were uh, too quick for Akari to take you with me. That was her? <laughs> of course. Don't worry. I was, I, was, I was so worried that I... <laughs> that it was you, my... 
It was your fault that lightning struck me? Rub. Give me your armor. I thought I thought that maybe. S but if, if you... lightning had struck me, no matter if I was wearing the armor or not, and it had not been Akari's calling, I would have been fried. You realize that armor <laughs> I gave you was more to make us feel better and feel stronger than protection really against lightning. Lard. Little brother. And he kind of like scruffles you the top of your head and then he kind of smiles at you. And then he taps the armor. He's like, well, I'm glad you kept it. Looks good. I haven't taken enough since. I, <laughs> Akari has made it really cool. Like, I can heal people and, like, some people in the Feywild. And I, I put some plates on it and it's, like, mithril so I can still fly. And... <laughs> Let's put it this way. I'm supposed to be a kind of healer and he does it better than I do. And I wink over cool, it. Honestly. I wink over it. Um, Uza. <laughs> I like that. I like that very much for you, brother. Someone who will heal and help. It seems very appropriate for the uh, scrawl all that I left. So, what uh, what do we do now? We seem to be... I don't want to say stranded, but I feel like we, we might be stranded here. Oh, yes, please, tell me, how did you come here? Uh, maybe we can... If nothing oh, else, um, a, well, there was... Um, okay, so you remember the Great Eerie? I don't know if you've seen it lately. If Gotti's given you visions or... I've been it's... fighting the the purple and hunting Yan Si, and oh, I've been very busy, unfortunately. What of the theory? It's it's alive. It's not the dark caves or the the the, the deep pits anymore. It's a burgeoning city, a country. We're building farms and a library, and we have a council. A library. Council, we're gonna have some words with. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of words. Also, if you guys are okay with that, I'm gonna kind of come in heavy with it. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about that later. Um, Wait, what? Right. But I think the council tried to sell our coca to Yancey Bin. No. For immortality? Can not you believe a, it? Not another betrayal. How could not be? Want me to kill him? We could kill him if you need it. Don't Look, have I don't. To. I don't want to. If someone decides to, I don't know how the rest of the, the the Azure Guard feel about this, but if someone wants to make that deal with someone for their own soul for immortality, that's that's their choice. I don't care. But to take the choice away from the others, that's where I draw the line. It is easy to drop. one thing want to... to give up your own freedom, but to take it from others, that is never acceptable. Not even once. Not to even buy once. a few years of life, or to, to extend your life, but only to put it in chains and everyone else around you, I just... Mm. I don't want to kill them. No, That's why we killed want... him! <laughs> <laughs> We sound like Kinda. Him, I'm sorry, we don't really kill people very often, I promise. <laughs> well, I mean, there was the king, but who was not the king, and there were all the frogs, and then and then the demon guy, and then the other demon guy. A lot of tight the between demons. these. It sounds like a lot when you spit them out really quick. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot. As somebody who has seen constant battle since the day we were parted. Are you okay, brother? I'm better now. <laughs> um, you hit him with a loaded question, why don't you? Yeah, Sorry, I just... I would... I don't know how much I time would, we have, and I need to know that you're okay. Ooh, It'd be ooh. a lot worse without these people. Show him the talisman <laughs> I made for you. And only Oh, for yeah. And, and I can find oh, him anywhere. Just, just undig it from my armor's, like, little... Look, it's, it's, yeah, and uh, pull out the little uh, horn bonsai tree. I can't I can find him anywhere on any plane, and I get the feeling now that I can master plane shift, so I, I will can't... never be apart from my uh, from my good Uza. That is can't get fun. lost anymore. Nice. <laughs> nope. Even if you tried, because I'd find you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't creepy at all. <laughs> uh, looking at the talisman, he's, he, he's, he suddenly, he kind of 
thinks for a second, and then he reaches and he pulls out one of his pinion feathers, one of the longest. And then he kind of uh, just stands it to you as like, you've always been good with these sort of things. Maybe it'll serve you as a quill, but this will help me find you if I need to. I've also learned something of walking the dimensions, the thin places between planes. You mean I don't have to come here to see you again? I can't do it very often, but I should be able to visit. He kind of gives a big smile, you know, whatever. Noise! I'm gonna... I'll take it and set it aside. You, you know, I... Do you put it in your bag or tuck it into, like, a pocket? I'm gonna tuck it into a, a, a pouch uh, underneath my armor. Okay, and then, um, for DM's knowledge, where is that piece of the Rod of Seven? Uh, that is gonna go into... Well, like I guess, where is it I guess on my... Uza at this point? Well, where did when did I find it? I guess would be the biggest thing. It was like a day ago. Then that when would be in a, well, I guess a side pouch this... that I have. Yeah, okay. Inside pouch. And then, uh, so as you're putting it away, um, you see, like, he kind of, like, blinks and he's like, uh, what do you carry there? And he kind of points. Oh, oh, fuck, I, I, I forgot. Um, and I'll pull out the rod and show him, like... Show me a rod! I don't know <laughs> a lot. <laughs> just a tip. <laughs> or just a shaft? I don't know. Just a piece. I'm teasing him. Oh, oh. Um, exactly one-seventh of the rod. Exactly one-seventh. One-seventh of an inch. Um, I'll show him... I'll show him the piece of the rod. I, I don't know... What this is? Uh, but I just get the it. feeling that it's important. I'll yeah, hand it to him. And you see, as he takes it, you see, he kind of like. He's like, it calls to those who are lawful. There is something about it that speaks against the chaos of the world. Not against freedom, but against tearing down barriers that should exist so that other things may grow. If you attune to it, it can point you to the rest of it, but you must think of it as an entire thing. And as he holds it out, he puts his hand out, and he, you see it's about... Of the, the, the fragment, which is about yay big, he, he kind of gives you about like a... about two feet, he's like... If you think of it as an entire rod and picture it in your mind, it will point you towards the rest of it. Although attuning to it may have some effect on you. He kind of hands it back. That is That's... no small thing, brother. I, I, I gotta say, man, that's ominous as fuck and kind of cryptic. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just it calls to lawful. Like it calls to the implacable will of um, a universe and stands to reorganize chaos that would tear things asunder. So it calls to paladins. We don't have one of those yet, do we? No, I think. Well, you. Kind, I think I, it, kind of. N not paladins necessarily. It's lawful. Oh, good. I've oh, been. Right. I've been struggling with a lot of choices. But. I think. I think this will give me a direction. I. I understand. I know what I need to do. That's good. I forget that I'm. It's easy for me to know where to go next, with Akadi being a ways closer to me than the rest. I gotta say, like I only I've only talked to her a couple of times. Is she still pretty cool? Like if you're just around her all the time, she seems pretty cool. It's she's pretty great. Think of someone who cares about you and wants you to do your best. But at the same time, doesn't want to tell you what to do. 
It doesn't care what you do, as long as you are serving yourself in a way that doesn't hurt yourself, and that you can explore everything. She's all about exploring. She'll even send us, the Azure God, to places just so that we can see them. <laughs> look him dead in the eye like, are you a Akati? No, I can tell you. I'm just fucking with you, man. I know. <laughs> I just... Are you a Akati? I hope not, because like Akati would be pretty <laughs> um, uh, 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 impulsive, is yeah. the word. Oh, she oh, very much is. <laughs> So how did you come here? Was it a portal? Was it a... Um, it was a portal. Um, we, there were, in the Great Eerie, there, I think Akadi has lent, I hope Akadi, I don't know now, because we met Yancey Bin, but there are <laughs> beings of the air elemental plane. Okay. And we spoke to them, and they gave me apparently a pretty easy riddle that I didn't get right away. Um, not my finest moment, but... We, fi I f we figured it out and then there were like puzzles and tests and we figured those out and entered a portal and it brought us here to Yan Si Bin oh I hate riddles <laughs> uh, yeah they're not great they're so cryptic I can't just say what you want hmm. well, I know there has been emissaries and a few things to send protect the Eerie but none of them with any messages of any sort it was too protect while it grew so the way no decisions were made Akari would only made herself available once someone who was going to spread her word would be listened to and well there would be more of a freedom of choice where you wouldn't need her to stand against the world but if you did want her and did want to stand beside her it'd be a choice not a command and not not anything that would rest would take the decision away from anyone. Well, I've been trying to spread the word of Akadi. I don't That's seem to good. be taking it to yet. Some are. Uh, I'm kind of focusing on the leaders, but when we came through the portal, Yancy Bin was expecting someone from the council. Hmm. So I think the portal might have been created by him. And we're going to go confront the council and I'm going to point at Bloodscale. Maybe kill the shit out of someone? Hmm. Rather not, but maybe, depending I'm, on I'm, how we react. I'm down, but at the same time, if he was expecting somebody from the council to appear here, why don't we just wait? That makes sense. Let them show up here, and when we surprise the fuck out of them. Hmm. I would be careful with whoever you... Uh come in contact with. Yonsiban has been known to share power with those he thinks he can manipulate. He often will make bargains or even gives gifts in order to manipulate those around him to do his bidding. You have no idea what they might have been promised or what they might what boon they might have already received. Do you need to sleep here? Uh oh yes, of course. Okay. Do you not so need to sleep? No. no. Our coca all on the material plane, we didn't need to sleep, and Yancey Bin took credit for that. I was just hmm. wondering if it had affected you all here on the air elemental plane. Hmm. No. Um, no, we still need to, to sleep here. Huh. Oh, People are going to be kind of pissed when we get back. Well, I Probably will... Doesn't that make sense that then we wait here as kind of a ambush? I wouldn't want to wait here because I'm thinking we left a bit of a trail at the in the portal room. If we go back to the portal room and someone enters there, I'd rather hey. ambush there. Because if it's Arakokra and he shows up with people, with other Arakokra in the air elemental plane, no offense to you guys, but we're going to be at a disadvantage again. Hmm. But if we get in the tight, the tight area... They're not going to be able to fly. I remember because I was like, shit, I'm not going to be able to fly here. That's fair. That is fair. Spellcasters among you, uh, does any of you know illusion magic? I know some illusion magic. Um, <laughs> let me double check here. Ha! I know I can create a disguise for myself. 
Um, let's see. Yes. I, uh, I have hypnotic pattern. I can throw up a little thing to distract people quite greatly. Um, well, I do have minor, minor illusion. Like mm. one of them. I can alter myself can to be you... different in some way. All right. So, um, the Azure Guard has a thing we can do when we're together that um, can help. Maybe. Uh, if you would, please if, uh, have an illusionary... Uh, if you have illusionary magic, cast it towards uh, the center of us once we square up. And then he's going to go here. And they're, they're all going to kind of fan out. <laughs> Howdy. Do I have access to my 7th um, level, or do I have to rest first? Uh, you'll have to rest first, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Mesnos is holding up his hand because he can do minor illusion as well. Alright. Um, so... I think he has the spell slot left too, doesn't he? Uh, it's a cantrip. I'm, I'm not seeing a spell slot left on the boy. No, he used um, both I mean, of them, I'm pretty sure, because he used fly and then he used another... He used two thing. spell oh, slots, yeah. and I think he has three. Oh, he has three now. Okay. I think he has two. <laughs> <laughs> Mesnos I think he has Because I marked in my he thing that three. I... I um, he has three yeah. and his Mr. and two of his Mystic Arcanum in Mental yeah. Prison and Plane Shift. Yeah, I only used two. I marked those down. All right. Well, then, uh, yeah, he can. Because I couldn't edit Mesnos's thing. Oh, sorry. Well, that makes way more sense then. I was like, oh, fuck. All right. And so, um, uh, if you would just cast into any of the crystals on the chest of the Azure God. <laughs> the only thing that he has is that is illusionary that is not cast on his self is minor illusion so <laughs> all right perfect so both of you um cast minor illusion i assume then it's gonna say yeah yeah cover. yeah okay and so um as you as you uh release the magic and as while the illusion starts to grab hold it gets pulled into the um the crystals and then they all start beating their wings and you see as the the magic is in the crystal it's held for a second and then it's pushed forward by the beating of the wings and then spun around in a circle around um you see below you some runes and things that were hidden um, underneath the surface of the metal start to glow and uh see anybody who has proficient in arcana go ahead and give me an arcana check if you want to you got it, boss. 17? I think I had advantage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is that everyone? Sarah, do you not have? I'm not proficient in Arcana. Oh. Okay. Plus four to it, but I'm not proficient. <laughs> <laughs> you have how much to it? Plus four? I'd plus say four. that's proficient. That's <laughs> educated guesswork. What's your background? Um, oh, student scholar, right? Specific background? Oh. Did you uh, pick one from their list of stuff? Yeah, it was... Uh, I. City Watch Investigator. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> I made a detective yeah. character for one of our one-offs. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's basically what... That's right, that's right. All right, was... So, oh, dude, I, I love the idea of a yeah, detective yeah. agency D&D thing. That'd be so fun. Yeah. That's why so, I took um, a lot of my spells are like manipulation, Jedi mind trick type stuff. Like, Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course. Like, yeah, yeah. Or like investigative stuff like Arcane Eye, um, Dominate mm -hmm. Person, Seeming. <laughs> Like, I've got, like, a bunch of, like, I have mass suggestion and stuff like that. So, like, nice. it's, it's all, which I'm, I don't have a lot of, like, combat spells. That's all right. We got combat Necessarily. spells. Necessarily. No, I, I get that. And that's what. Got a lot of utility, like, though. That's good. Yes. No, yeah, I've got a lot of, like, mess well, with people. Especially when you have out. that mind caster, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Yeah, I've got <laughs> physical weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. Um, all right. Anyway. So um, as you see these these runes glow up and, and around, uh, looking down, you see that um, these runes act as like an anchor 
Um, so it's it's very clearly meant to be able for something to lock on. And you recognize uh, the same runes that were the numbers in the stones. You wouldn't recognize them as the numbers, but you would recognize that the stones that um, Uza held up to form this portal um, are etched into it underneath the metal of it. Interesting. What? See, the runes are etched into the metal of it. Yeah, underneath the metal, like it's like it's like there's like a layer of of like almost like there's a mirror top to it, and then they're glowing through it. Oh, okay. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they seem to be some sort of numbers. Oh yeah. Um, Refer to my notes, 748, 187, 259, 621, 431, and 738. Oh. I don't know what that means. Uh, Neither do I. <laughs> oh. Well, Cute. although <laughs> it does... Are they the same numbers, Ty, or um, are they different? Um, and when you look down, um, you can read the numbers, but the numbers are reversed order. To when you put them up. Oh. Coordinates back. Hmm. Mirror coordinates. Yeah. I do feel some planar magic left here. What? How did. Describe to me exactly how you came through. Um. There. <laughs> I'm trying right there now. Not to make a bad joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was a, there was like an upright circle, like a donut, but mm -hmm. made of rocks. And as we put numbers into it and found them, like it, it, it turned right. Or am I? I know I made the Stargate joke, but I'm not sure how close to the start like, i was literally about to say that we opened the iris and locked in the chevron so i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um well, it's the far gate it's different from what you said <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what you did is you you you'd gone through the test to get the rune stones and then you matched the rune stones right. and they kind of like magically locked into place and as they did the portal sh shimmered into existence pardon my hiccups Okay, then I'll I'll describe that to him. Hmm. So there are actual okay. rocks with these numbers on them. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like they used. Okay, I think I see. Do you have anything from your realm you're willing to leave behind? Any of you? Oh, d dude, I collect so much crap. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, so, uh, what do you mean? What do you need? Just uh, anything kind of large thing? enough that we can copy a rune to. Okay, I have 22 daggers on me, apparently. You have 22 daggers on you? Why Over do you have 22 daggers on you? the course of our adventures, I've apparently picked up a shitload of daggers. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I think it was when we were clearing out some coldness, and I kept picking them oh, okay. up. Dude, I have 21 javelins in the back of the <laughs> Yeah, <so> I mean... <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was very early days when we, st right. when we were still picking right. stuff up. I have <laughs> 27 javelins, actually. <laughs> I just realized that there's two things wow. that say jabs. Uh, I'm gonna right those, now. So those, daggers daggers could work, daggers? those daggers could work perfectly. We need one for each room. Um, and then... Uh, uh, how many is that? Uh, six. Six and eight. There you go. And the six. Are you worried about getting oh, under twenty? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Skrull, can you help me with this? You always you had a study your hand than I did. Uh, help me copy the runes. And you see, he pulls like this, um, this liquid, and it's this, it's glowing and super light blue. And you see, he takes it and he's he's kind of just inscribing the blades with the same runes. I will uh, I will assist him with that and guidance myself whilst doing it. Guidance. Perfect. Go ahead and uh, roll a um, calligraphy check, or um, cartography <laughs> check, we'll say. Just because it's the okay. same motions and stuff. Let me pull up my roll 20 character sheet because D&D &D Beyond doesn't port that over. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Perfect. All right. 
Oh shit, that actually should be one number higher. 21? 21. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, because it's proficiency plus dex, right? Yeah. Uh, proficiency plus dex, yes, yeah. All right, and then... Uh, so he goes through, uh, so as you're, you're going through, you're, you're effortlessly uh, copying them. And then so um, he takes them and he puts the, the six daggers down over each, uh, each one of the, um, the, where the, each place where it glue. Uh, and he's like, all right, so um, six different types of magic. Um, what types of magic do all of you know? Let's see, illusion can go here and he points to one uh, up near the top. I know... Transmutation and evocation okay. and divination. Okay. I can do all those with cantrips. Divination's probably one of the harder ones, so you should go over there. Any points? To yeah, the even I can do evocation. Yeah, uh, evocation over trans here. Transmutation. Transmutation over there, and so he kind of just Wait. starts pointing out. So, um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. so yeah, I'll, I'll go and put you guys in the in the places. So. <laughs> Is there a necromancy? We could put fucking Mezos at the back. I also have enchantment. No, there is not necromancy, actually. So, fun. There, and then... So. That's big. That reminds me. Yancy Bin had air elementals that were part necromantic. Necromantic? What? Yeah, I yeah. ate one, and it tasted like death. <laughs> Are you <a> tell? <laughs> I wonder... Well, if... He's taking the souls of Erokokro who are bound to him the same way Akadi would, only not in the same way, but the similar style. That could be a problem. I should have actually tried to eat him. Oh, I don't have an orc potion. I don't recommend eating these things. Hey, Ulu, do you know how to make that, like, like, vision quest dream potion? <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Personally, no. I mean, I have the recipe. I can grind up some. I mean, I've got strong arms. I can do that too. Then I just figured I'd ask. Mm -hmm. Might have lucked into you having one. Um, I regret so... that I cannot help. Nah, you're fine. All right, if but I should have tried to eat him. Does he, brother? Does he like to eat? Dead things? Undead kind of. Things? It's, well, I mean, I would really, 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 really like to say no. Huh. Are they whispering? But no. I can't. No. <laughs> huh. I mean, I have a 16 passive perception. Can I just yeah. hear them? Oh, you absolutely hear them. Yeah, they're not. No. You, you get scrub. Hey, oh, I don't, even... hey, I don't yeah, like uh... to, but if I, if I drink this weird potion before I, like... Eat somebody, I, I weirdly live part of their memories. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. He trips balls while he sleeps. And no, then he's if it was about these honestly, crazy if, dreams. If we did it off of a only one. necromancer in the Feywild, and it was really that weird. Was, that was yeah. crazy. And then there was a green dragon really. stuck in my head, and she was kind of a bitch, but she was nowhere near as much of a bitch as the fucking giant ass red dragon who's just a complete prick. Hmm. I'm still mad at you that I didn't worse. get to fight and with I mean, that guy. And there's there's another there's a there's a blue dragon that's currently in Uza's bow, who did not like Yancey Bin or whatever the fuck his face was at all, but no, he was couldn't, pissed. couldn't help really, which sucked. Well, how did he even know Yancey Bin? Well, he knows know. Akati. Hmm. He knows yeah, Akati. I think he dated Akati, which is weird. Maybe that's Yancey Bin's dad. Did you oh, just say yeah. dated Akari? I don't what? know. I'm guessing. It's weird. Like, they like I saw a so my friend over there, Vicer, he's been banishing me yes. to this plane for 45 seconds at a time, which is really difficult to hold a conversation with someone. By the way, <laughs> yeah, and especially if you keep forgetting what it was you were going to ask them. <laughs> I was nervous. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm eight. <laughs> They know he that is not he actually that young for us. Right? Well, yes, eight is, but that's not terribly young. Be like, the equivalent of being in your mid to late twenties for. A dude, you were like ruining my whole fucking excuse for being a mess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need an no, excuse. That's right. to be I, I, I can understand that being in your twenties being a complete mess. That's fine. 
I'm but... a millennial, I get it. I mean, it hit my 20s and I'm a fucking mess, so I mean... Uh, um, but, uh, so, like, in that brief time with Akadi and then this dude, it was like, they, like, kind of flirted with each hmm. It was awkward. But also, he knows a lot about Akadi and he's actually helping me and the the roar the roar you found a prophet yes um that's great we have to find the river still but a pretty good idea on how to do that unless you know you know the whisperer i have not met a whisperer unfortunately like i said we are mostly sent on desperate missions that must be done right now <laughs> that's fair but i've got just don't worry i'm pretty sure i got this one covered um <laughs> I've missed yeah. how bright you are, brother. I missed you a lot too. Wait, what do we do next? What do we do now? Let's go. All right. Huh? So, um, each of that you cast each of you cast your the type of magic that you've been assigned into the daggers, and then place them as down on the ground and push them until they seem to stick. As long as the runes resonate, uh, this entire platform should become a portal, sending you back. Gail's gonna try to jam the dagger in first and then just shoot it with an Eldritch Blast because that's what he has. Perfect. <laughs> yeah! What, what's uh, Zarex assigned type of magic? Uh, so we had, um, let me pull it up here. Bloodscale's got evocation. So Bloodscale's evocation, um, I think uh, Vicer took illusion. Um, oh. I thought I was doing transmutation. Transmutation, sorry. Uh, and then, so we that leaves um, illusion. Um, I believe abjuration, conjuration, divination is what um, Uza was doing. Yeah, yeah. Divination. Yes. And it's going to either do illusion or conjuration. Okay. I mean, I can do abjuration just fine. Abjuration? Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then um, Zephyr, um, are you taking enchantment then? She got up for a second. Okay. Let me check. If she even has that, what's the thing she can do? No, oh, she's just yelled conjuration. Conjuration. Okay, so she'll take conjuration. Uh, what did right. What did we need? So it was. Um, so it was a transmutation, illusion, evocation, divination, conjuration, and abjuration. I'm just saying, what was left? Oh. uh... I have transmutation. <laughs> so, hold on. <laughs> I'm just going to mark everybody else. I know what these guys have. Isaiah has transmutation. Bloodscale has... Bloodscale has evocation. And then, so we need illusion. Who's the head divination? Perfect. So divination's taken care of. And then uh, conjuration. You guys know what's doing illusion. Illusion. Perfect. So then conjuration was Zephyr. And Zarek was abjuration. Perfect. Yep, she can poison spray. Perfect. All right. That's generation. <clears throat> so, no spell um, slots necessary. Just yeah. So as you, um, have to be a spell that you can cast on something. No, just you have to cast Besides it. Besides myself. Oh, no, because you wouldn't be able. You just have to cast it. If it's an abjuration spell that affects yourself, you'd have to be still be holding the dagger. Um, he kind of explains so that way it's it's be the abjuration magic should go over the weapon that you're wielding as well. It'll siphon it from you. Yeah. Sure. So it'll pull off. Uh, yeah, using like shield or something. Uh, absorb elements. Oh, or at least that sense. was what I was thinking. Perfect. All right, so uh, each of you, as you you kind of cast into it, and you feel like, uh, and then you bring the dagger, and you feel the same kind of almost magnetic pull as a tink down into the um, and each lock into place. And you see some of them land, and then they they spin in place as the um, they lock with the runes beneath them. And then the entire Real platform. Real quick before I cast, I'm going to mm -hmm. give my brother one last tug. I'm going to be back. <laughs> I know you will. And I'll be waiting. And don't forget. And you told me that you can you, you can visit. There's no excuse anymore. You're fucking <laughs> stuck doing it. And then I'm going to cast Guidance. <laughs> Excellent. And as you cast, you're the last one. Everything glows briefly. And you guys find yourself back. Standing at the shrine the portal closing behind you as you see your brother gives you one last wave 
And uh, as you look down, Uza, you see there is a large blue crystal that has been slapped onto the chest of your armor during the last hug. Marking you as the Asher Guard as well. Make sure that it's in proud display up front. All right. From here, what would you guys like to do? Uh, how close is the f entrance to this place? Uh, cl this is about, um, you guys are about 30 feet in from the door. I'm going to go take a flanking position to the door. So if a council member comes in, I can charge them and tackle them. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so you take and I'm just going to wait. <laughs> you take your position at the door and wait. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Three point um, ass fucking defensive line stance. I would like to take some. There's a there's an entryway into here, right? Yes. Yeah. To the south. Okay. Yeah, that's where I just went. I'm like right. flanking I'm going it to, to um, I don't really have anything that would. Just hide. Just everybody hide. hide yeah, I I'm gonna hide. I don't have any. I don't have any way to okay. set a trap that won't let us know and them know at the same time, unless anybody has some spell. Mm, right. sort of, what do you and, and I'm gonna be Hold like 10, 15 feet back from the entranceway so that right, right when they walk in, they actually have to turn their head to see me. Okay. Perfect. And then. Because um, I'm not you... sneaky, but I'm at least a bit tactically inclined. Uh, everybody who's uh, um, hiding, can I give a stealth check? <laughs> computer for a second so no so sneaky what was that sorry you're breaking up quite a bit you said you're gonna be away from your computer for a second i think that's correct okay jesus fuck that's goddamn <laughs> what happened <sighs> oh you're Ooh. fucking lucky i rolled that beer <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm rolling for three people because she went to go See, do I'll something. I'll take care of Mezzy for you. Uh, it, isn't it dark in here? It is. For Mezzos? Oh, yeah. He has, a, he has a thing with that, right? Uh, let me double check it. Oh, yeah, one with the shadows. Yeah, he just makes himself invisible. Yep, that's that's what that boy's doing. What that boy's doing. Warlocks, man. Warlocks. Uh, Bloodscale is attempting to... He's he is in that three point stance, but he's attempting to hug the wall and kind of blend sure. in. Should I roll one or no? Um, yeah, go ahead and roll one. He's got the padded armor, so it's no longer at disadvantage. <laughs> All right, sixteen. All right, I believe that's everybody. So sixteen, thirteen, twenty-one, eight. eight okay, 16. sorry about that. I had to let my dog out. Oh, okay. No, no worries. Uh, you know, the stealth um, checks. I know you hate him so much, but I guess you know, just, yeah. just so we we can. I'm gonna guidance myself for good measure, and guidance. are are there shadows that I can get into? Yeah, it's pretty dim in here. Um, Mizzus has already cast okay. invisibility on himself with one of the shadows. Oh, Thirty. Man. And if not, it'll be thirty-one, sir. Perfect. All right. Another campaign. Entirely. <laughs> you just found Richard. It's like, what the fuck? Do I need to pop you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, how long do you guys yeah, want not to Not one wait? of them dagger ears. I suppose you're fine. <laughs> uh, how long do you guys want to wait? Um, I'm going to set up... I'm going to tell Maverick to keep watch for me, and I'm actually going to try and get some sleep in my hidden position, if that's possible with my stealth check. Okay, so you guys, uh, so you guys are going to wait like... No, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send uh, uh, Faf to go check it out. Um, okay. send and I'm gonna let to... everyone know over the sending stones. Like, I'm pretty sure Yancy Bin said he wasn't expecting anybody for another day, so it might be a minute. Oh, then why are we here? 
Well, cause I mean, I, we can we can go yell at the council. I was I was fully anticipating us kicking in the door and be like, "Who knows, young?" Or we can legitimately thing. go sleep in a bed and come back early in the morning. Well, I don't want to miss them in case they come early. I, it's either, I personally, I would either like to sleep here and have watch and ambush, or go go find the council right now. Let's just go right now, then. Well, we don't know who on the council it is. This way, we'd True. figure out who it is. I'm. I would be only guessing. All right. Um. But they're not expecting us here. They think we're off looking for hobgoblins. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> Fools. Does anybody have anything Is... that they can like leave here? That like just tell us. Oh, what if we put the tent? What if we put the tent in one of the rooms, and you guys can get some sleep, and then we just do watch. That's fine with me. I don't know if the tent will fit in one of the rooms, but we'll go check it out. <laughs> we don't. We also don't know if the rooms rearm. All right, I peek this door open. Perfect. Looks empty. Um, you do notice that none of the runes are lit up, and you look. Were they lit up. Before? You had to light them up in order to enter the room. Um, but you also looking in though, you you notice that like this spot where you got the rune stone to start the teleportation, all the rune stones are still on the portal. Uh, oh, they're just, oh they're shit, still I just put those back. They're yeah, they're hovering about a, a foot a foot off. I'm going to go put those back. Okay. You're going to put them back to where you got them? Nope. I'm just going to take them out of the thing. Okay. And make it look like nobody's done anything with the portal. Perfect. And as you do, Mesno's kind of, you hear this kind of small chuckle. <laughs> they won't be able to get to Yancey Ben. Nope. Because fuck them. Because <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Solid logic. Fuck! Alright, so uh, is there anything ah. in this room? In this room here? No. Alright, can I set up the tent in here? Uh, yeah, actually. You should be able to. Let me go and grab the tent image. I'm gonna set up the fortress. Blow through the roof right in the I, middle of the room. I was gonna say it will it will deform the because uh, this is under the windmill's Shh, regular floor. We're trying to hide. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but I now mean, we'll certainly help with blood scale stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> I just put the I put the fortress in front of the door. They're never getting in. <laughs> Sorry, done that. That's true. That would do, would do it. We've done that. Mm -hmm. That's true. Did it Kern? It's all true. To make sure backup didn't come for the fucking king. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He yeah, legit right. did this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So, are you guys taking oh, watches tent. and sleeping in the tent then? All right. Let me know when it's my time for watch. Uh, uh, how long can Maverick hang out? Like he's permanent and until he gets a schwack big enough to send him into a stone shape and then I have to wait eight hours don't worry you banish me either way but so that too sorry Maverick, or you do banish you sleep? Him. does Maverick need to sleep Maverick do you need to sleep I don't think he needs oh, to yeah. sleep oh yeah of course I need to sleep oh yeah no he needs to sleep I'm not, you feel I'm tired okay. a little bit yeah okay I'm just saying we can have Maverick take a watch <sighs> With bird I eyes. Watch. I got this. He kind of like hops over. How tired do I feel right now? Right now? Not tired? Yeah. Not tired. Okay. You feel a little beat up. <laughs> oh, I definitely feel beat up. Um, okay. Um, well, I'll I'm, tell I'm Maverick to, Go ahead. to hide in uh, one of these trees. There really isn't one close. Um, no, I'd rather have him on my side of the portal. You know, I'll just have have him hide over here, and um, 
I'm that's I'm gonna sleep right here. And I'll send if 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 something happens, Maverick, you wake me up, and then you go wake everybody else up in the tent because our 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 sending stones don't work into the tent. All right, I can do that. All right, so is Maverick taking the first watch? Yes, but before bed, Bloodscale was going to do something incredibly stupid. Might as well. <laughs> Wait. If I say, yeah. I got a really dumb question. I probably have a really dumb answer. And and I I, I suggest that we don't do this inside of the tent. Yeah, right. What oh, is what is? Can you hit me with an emulate? <laughs> I definitely can. Is there any reason you'd want me to? I need to talk to an asshole again. Alright, well, fair enough. Um, Just hold on, I gotta set up for this though. I don't, don't hit me with it right away, let me prepare. <laughs> nah, it's gonna hurt. Like, you know that, right? I'm, well, I'm going to rage, so it'll hurt less. <clears throat> that's good, that's good, because it hurts a lot. <laughs> it's supposed to anyway, I've never... <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this <laughs> super focused rage. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. So, at, outside of the tent, like okay. in in this corner of this room over here. Okay. Like away, away from the tent. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully this tree is not inside the room. Hopefully it's outside the room. <laughs> no, no, it's outside. Bloodscale is going to take the most stable stance he can. Hold his axe eyeball out towards Vicer. <laughs> and also, the f arm that's kind of in front is the one with the bracer. Gotcha, okay. So I, I don't even leave the tent. I'm like sipping a drink uh, on one side of the tent and I stick my arm out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and hit him with the MLA. I'm going to try to absorb as much of this as I can and see okay. if this fucking magic bullshit of the axe works. Are you choosing to fail the dexterity saving throw? Yes. Okay. So you take. I'm, but I am choosing to rage. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. So you, you take 25 reduced to 13. Oh, no, 12. Uh, and um, you are on fire. <laughs> I'm still just trying to absorb it. Perfect. Okay. Hoping so... that it's magic fire. <laughs> How long are you willing to be on fire? <laughs> until i'm at about 10 hit points <laughs> all right so this uh you only stay on fire for uh what's the duration of immolation is it a minute these are magical flames that can't be extinguished by means the spell just ends on a successful save oh, gee. no but it has a minute duration. No, there's a duration yeah duration. so all right first round Target casting time. One. It doesn't say the duration. I'm, I'm saying it's a, it's got to be a minute. Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so you take another nine points of fire damage. There's one round. Remember if I took any damage Six in the points. last thing or not. So I just hit myself pretty <laughs> hard to begin there. with. Just staring at this like, oh god, did I just burn this guy to death? <laughs> Nine points. What are you doing? Seven points. Lord of Mercy, mana, you're right. Ten points. How close are you? Wow. I'm at forty. Okay, ten points. Nine points. Five points. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, eight points. And nine points. How many was that? Nine. Was that all ten? Yeah, that was all ten. I have nine hit points, so if the duration's a minute, I, I'm no longer on fire. Concentration <laughs> up to one minute is what okay. uh, Immolate says, by the way. Perfect. Okay. Legit. So you are, you have nine HP left as the fire dies down. <laughs> you see the blackened, like, your scales are almost completely blackened as the burning sensation has gone through you. You've... 
uh you, you've taken quite a lot of fire and you stood the rest of you were just like this st- st- bloodscale st- st- stood and just braced himself through the fire but you see some yeah, of the was, fire there's no screaming or anything it's just just, just braced <laughs> but he already it's too bad uh, to uh, stop being on fire <laughs> i don't think this works that way now i'm mad <laughs> sorry it's okay you only did what I asked you to. I'm not mad at you. That's good. That's I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> now they, uh, Butler, get him something to drink for crying out loud. Probably no, some water. Absolutely. Get, I need a bath and a nap. Bath, a nap, and water. You, there's no way you get that burnt up and you're not like dehydrated, right? <laughs> get some Absolutely. Water. Absolutely, sir. One bath started as soon as I can. Oh, there it is. It is really for you, Master Bloodscale. Thank you. Of course. Do you have a preference to alcoholic or non-alcoholic drink? Non. Excellent. Flavored Thank or water? You. Just give me fucking water. God damn it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just produces this. It's like this jug uh, with like one little loop that's just the coldest ice water that you can hook around and like and then he, he chugs it while on his way to the bath and to nap <laughs> perfect so you hit the the bath it's delightful and you're able to sleep all right and uh anybody else doing anything before they hit the hay making delicious steak dinner god i'm hungry right now <laughs> <laughs> perfect yep uh, uh Zephyr has some she wants to do. perfect <laughs> Just do a final check on Mezzi. You see, he's you're able to, to heal up his wounds really, really well, and with the seventy instant hit points, like he doesn't even have any. He, it doesn't look like he's even gonna have any scars. And uh, as you're, you're looking kind of down at him, he, he just kind of like smiles. He's like, hey, "I'm fine. I promise." <laughs> Almost at the cost of the rest of the party. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah, damn. That's true. But. I th- I can't do that again. Do what again? What do you mean? Well, if it wasn't for some fast footwork on Vicer, um, a lot of the party wouldn't have been okay, and that would have been on me. Well, I'm supposed right. to be the healer. I'm supposed to be the protector. And you did. Another six seconds you could have cast another spell, but... It doesn't mean you're the only protector in the group. There's lots of protectors here. I know, I know. I'm getting used to that. I'm not used to working on the team. I'm not used to anybody noticing me enough to hit me. There's one disadvantage to this new body. Nobody takes into account the rat man. (laughs) (laughs) That's fair. I just, uh... I'm glad you're okay. Don't do that again. I will do my best not to. (laughs) (laughs) You'll hurt me. All right. Well, I'll know. Don't get hurt, or Zephyr will hurt me more. All right. Yes. He he pretends like he's writing it down. (laughs) That's all I had. I missed that from last episode, so I figured I'd add a little bit in there. He he kind of he he gives you a hug. He's like he he goes to give you a hug, and he's like. (laughs) <laughs> I'll trade you I'll stay safe as long as you stay safe you know I can't guarantee that I mean look at who we're hanging out with we'll both do our best how's that get that close enough <laughs> it's funny we could have chose to retire at any point but I don't think it's in us yet anyway you no know- still have people to kill <laughs> I get that it reminds me I, I think I think I can finally get us there without too much of a complication when you're ready I can too but we're not strong enough can't no, even but... take a dream dragon we're not strong enough and with everything that he collects, 
we're in for a fight before we even hit him. Yes. Last I saw, he'd even created somewhat of a labyrinthine maze full of his collections. So that's something to prepare for. Yes. I've been looking in the book to see if it's given me any more warning of what could be, but still nothing yet. I have a good idea of the creatures he already had and what he wanted to have. Ugh. He told me a lot about his acquisitions that he wanted. And if he got a number of those, we would be in trouble. So yes. we're not ready. When you are, I think I can get us there. I think I can get us back from there. That's good. <laughs> I'd like to not stay again. I don't think I could stay now. Even though once it seemed like that's what I would have wanted. It returned to what was normal. Aw, did we humanize you? Well, you ratified me first, but yes, I think so. <laughs> you did that to yourself, and um, as Vicer said, that was just desserts for, you know, trying to inhabit him. Uh, it's weird I couldn't even see it as wrong back then, but I kind of understand now <laughs> things I do just to keep this body she's not saying anything after that she's just gonna kind of nod and turn away and be like alright well good night alright okay <laughs> he kind of like uh, he goes and heads into the, the tent as well so um, first uh, is uh, Ulu did you want to do anything Not at the moment. Okay, Zadok? A nice little bowl of oatmeal in bed. Perfect. And, um. <laughs> you see a bowl of that oatmeal? That sounds in bed? fucking amazing. So, um, <laughs> and it is, it is a, it is the most delicious oatmeal you've I had possibly love. ever. Simple stuff. <laughs> you, you almost, you almost feel strange because somehow these people have made even oatmeal decadent. Yeah, my honestly, <laughs> Zarek's a little bothered by that because it's supposed to be acetic. It's supposed to be, you know, bland and boring. But it is unescapably delicious, and you are enjoying <laughs> it, no whether you want to or not. Having is a hard thing. time with this. Yeah. Who the fuck <laughs> put cinnamon in here? <laughs> what is this? Apples? Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> mm, amazing. Starting to have crisis oh, conscience here. <laughs> uh, do I even like you know, do I even like oatmeal? What is oatmeal? <laughs> uh, how many watches are you guys doing? Two, three, eight? <laughs> Seventy-two. All right. You wake in yeah. five minutes later now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> still will take yeah, the so. last one. Because I figured uh, Mav could take an hour. Mm -hmm. Mav, and then Mav I'll take an hour. Four. Like, Mav can do a full Mav watch. Mav can do four? He yeah, he can do a full watch. Like, he's still. Uh, he's a good lookout. That's what he, he's kind of there for. Okay. Nice. I'll do that, and I don't know if I can because it's a very long period of time. Can I guidance him for this? Um, Not really, unfortunately. Okay. I think it's going to be fair. a little too much, and you'll be asleep, so. Um, well, yeah. actually, you can, you can, uh, guidance his initial, like, like, getting ready and watching. So I'll say, I'll say yes, why not? Okay. All right, so go ahead and roll, uh, one for Mavi. Uh, and he's using a standard Raven block. Yeah, he correct. should be in your, your, um, player, uh, the under player characters, companions, should have his stat block right there, so you can quick and easy oh, roll. Okay. This is a perception plus three. And you just click the perception um, on their there skills. Goes. Oh, perfect. 19. Pretty good roll. Hey. And then um, a cool 20. <laughs> Diet 20. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, as he's kind of watching um, the first four hours, he looks around. He waits. He hops around. But... Nothing happens. He feels, finds no reason to awake you, and 
at the end of four hours he kind of hops on to your up to your shoulder and then uh, he just kind of like looks up and he's like and he just kind of like taps your beak once huh. he taps it again <laughs> uh, nothing uh, nothing to report uh, four uh, hours of really boring nothingness down here not even a little wind oh. yeah I kind of miss it all right um well get some sleep um fair warning i'm gonna wake you up in probably two hours to go get blood scale so i don't have to move Ugh, fine you just kind of like i know like just once you wake up blood scale though you can you can hang out in the tent because i'd rather not have you in the battle all right well fine no I'm offense just kinda... i just don't want you to get fucked up neither do i and he kind of like just kind of like grumpy like like, he like scoots into you, but and then just kind of like falls asleep as he tucks his head into your your feathers, your neck feathers, uh, so he can like block any light. And just oh, little guy's all tuckered out. You hear the tiniest. <laughs> <laughs> my snat, my my statue snoring. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'll do. Uh, I will do my perception check for my watch. All right, hit it. 32. 32. So. 33. 33. That's the third natural one on guidance that I've rolled tonight. <laughs> like, Connie is just not happy that I beat up her kid. She's not happy with your uh, <laughs> lack of faith in yourself and your companions. <laughs> she found my lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> Damn it. All right. So, um, four hours go by, you watch, and with a 32, you, like, even, like, listen at the door and you're and then, like, you just hear just gentle wind outside. You hear the rotating of the, the giant bladed fan at the at the top of the windmill, just rotating. Fire off voices. I'll send Mav to go wake up Bloodscale. Perfect. And Bloodscale, you... Um, <laughs> did you fall asleep in the bath, or did you make it to bed? I'll sleep in the... <laughs> so uh as you're you're sleeping in the bath you you've um f lay, you feel something like just like kind of a weight on your nose and as you wake up uh there's a raven perched on the end of your nose kind of looking at you like um i, I just nod I, I i already know i already know okay and he, i'm sure i can't understand him so i'm just like mm -hmm, i get it <laughs> he, he flies off i'm gonna i'm gonna blow a puff out of my nose what comes out a little bit of smoke Ooh. Ooh. Maybe this works. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I, I was still frost last time. Maybe this worked. Okay. I'm going to put on my fucking armor. <laughs> I'm going to trottle outside. Perfect. All right. So you head outside. You see um, Maverick uh, comes hit, comes back to you. He's like, all right, we can go to bed now. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stay out here. Just go hang out in the tent. Okay. <laughs> All right. You can nap. Right, Tio. I'll go back to sleep. Perfect. Did I get my rest? Just so I know. Um. So you were asleep for six hours. You know what? Make a constitution check for me. Well, Mav did four, and then I did four, right? Oh, I thought or was you said, that just a... I thought you said you did two because you said you woke up oh, two yeah, hours no, after. You're right. You're right. Yeah, two. I said two. My bad. Oh. Math is... You can do, do four up? if you want. Then he. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm... yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're good. I'm. I'm. I was so stoked that fire came. That p fucking smoke came out of my nose. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Well, yeah. if I, I did the Constitution save because you fell asleep in the bath, and that either was going to be really restful or really unrestful for only six hours. But yeah, you, it was the perfect temperature and everything because, uh, of course, it was. The butler is amazing at his job. And uh, so, yeah, you feel super refreshed. Mark your long rest. Um, before I go to sleep, I'm going to touch blood scale, and I'm going to give him guidance uh, for looking out or for hiding, whatever. Hey, do you need do you need Ulhar right now? I don't think I could take him anyway. Never mind. You're good. Okay. I'm going to go back to sleep and do some You're good. More book writing. Perfect. Okay. Um, go ahead. And then, uh, so you have guidance. You can use it either on a stealth check to hide or on a perception check um, to keep a lookout. 
Sit on the stealth check to hide. Perfect. Because I'm going to need it. All right. Hey, there's a three. Not a one. <laughs> hey, <you're... laughs> I have a question. Yes. I probably should have done this before. If I were to use one of my luck points to reroll the stealth. Yeah, that's fine. But does the guidance carry over? Should I have done that before? Guidance would have been the same either way, so you still get a plus three. Fuck it. We'll try it. It's worse. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 13. I'm taking All right. 13. This then... luck feed is not really working out for us. And then the uh, perception check. Perfect. 20. That one I'm good at. Perfect. <laughs> um. Are you staying right there? Where Where are you hiding? Uh, just so I know where you're at. I, I am. I am trying to stay around this corner. Okay, so that's I can same. scoot in. Like, like where Uza was. Okay. Yeah. I'll scoot. Excellent. So I'm like the full Scooby Doo head around the fucking t <laughs> corner. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, so as you you're you're sitting in the back, you're kind of waiting. And waiting. You're just keeping an eye on the door. And you hear wind start to pick up. And you hear the cheek, 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 up top. And you see flying in one of the large blue skinned um, creatures kind of flies in, accompanied by two of the stranger air elementals. They kind of fly in to about here. Let's see if they see you. <laughs> Guidance for the fucking win. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe that's amazing. All that's right. fucking great. Gotta so, be praised. As they, as the. Uh, well, it's funny because I only had to roll because you just barely beat his passive, and he isn't—he is—he is actively looking because. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. So you, you you see him fly in, and he flies directly up to the portal. And you see he kind of, instead of doing anything, you see he starts—he holds two fingers up and he starts scrabbing, a uh, scratching uh, in the in the air, tracing these runes, and then he. He opens, uh, they, they kind of all are, are forming in a circle, and then he opens his hand and they fly over. And you see the portal power up, and he kind of looks through. And then he leans like all, like halfway in. And he pulls out. And then he just kind of, and he pulls the runes back, and then he disperses them. Um, and he basically, he pulls them in and then crushes them into his hand. And you see the magic winks out. He kind of looks at his hand, looks to the, the two guards next to him, and then he floats out are the guards staying no the guards are following with him okay then before he gets farther away about here uh well before he gets farther away than 30 feet i'm going to use my once a day misty step okay to pop in front of him and then I'm going to use the breath weapon fear roar, which yep. should be loud enough to wake the fuck out of Uza. Yep. Oh shit. Here we go. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll that beautiful roar footage. I'm pretty sure I know the answer already, but did I get a long rest? It's that's a your sleep for four, awake for two, and not yet. No. There. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You can zero dream for me. So it's not a thing I can roll because I never oh, built a, a button. Is it a constitute? Is it a, a check? It is uh, this. My proficiency bonus is five. My charisma modifier is two. Okay. So Perfect. thirteen. Thirteen. Fifteen. But I'm really using it more just to wake at least Sousa up so you can tell Maverick to wake everybody else up. Jesus, this is long. Just 
just wanted yeah, that's, to roar. That's Fucking hell. <laughs> just use that Godzilla roar. <laughs> Yeah, well, it got it got wiped out because of the when they updated everything or else I definitely would have. <laughs> oh, did they do another update? Yeah, it got rid of a lot of my custom stuff. Oh man, I remember them doing that right smack dab in the middle of my <laughs> one off. So you land and you're just like Sorry. No. <laughs> I swear to god I'll fucking drive over there and punch you in the head. <laughs> that would be fair. Alright, so I'll pay for gas money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's a it's rest a line, wisdom saving throw. Watch, did we get long rests? Um, yes, yeah, everybody else, uh, if you didn't take a, not, a watch, you got a, um, a long rest. So it's a where is it? wisdom saving throw. Okay, so wisdom. 19 for the Jin. Yeah, that beats it. And then. It ain't high. It's not 13, it's 15. Okay. They have to be uh, 15. The Aero Elemental Myrmidon fail so they are frightened of you for the next three rounds um i'm gonna when i wake up i'm gonna see what's going on realize oh shit i was gonna use maverick to wake everybody up and then stealth over to the tent to wake everybody up okay perfect so um what i'm gonna do real quick i'm gonna have um let me just go ahead and get this cleared out here all right, everybody, give me your initiative checks. Mine's at 16 because advantage is fun. No oh, damn! Okay. Was... God damn, dude, come on! I have a fucking dex of six. Why is my <laughs> always so fucking low? You know why, you know what you did. <laughs> Sleep. Hold on. I'm Sleep. Just... Ah. Gosh. Of course it didn't add, even though I had her highlighted. <laughs> no, it did add. There it goes. It's fine. Perfect. There we go. I think we need Ulu as well. Sorry. That's okay. Unexpected attack is unexpected. Everybody wake the fuck up. <laughs> oh wait. Still keep doing that. Perfect. Ten for Ulu. Alright. <laughs> All right, so at the top of the round, or actually no, surprise round, everybody, um, we're going to count the first round as a surprise round. So, um, but sleeping, sleeping, scared, just got scared. Um, they're, they're not part of the surprise round, actually, so that doesn't even take over one of the scared. Uh, sleeping, sleeping, Uza, you're up. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to run the surprise does, rounds. So we're, we're taking but... let's scale, jump out, and roar as the surprise round. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just want to make sure. All right, so um, stealth check. Uh, uh yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba. If you're still stealthy, I don't know if you're doing that or just. Run yeah, I'm gonna stealth over. Twenty nine. All right, and then twenty nine. I'm gonna haul ass over. Perfect. Uh, look into the tent. Everybody, wake the fuck up! Would and then like, I'm gonna, as you as you yell that, have you see the butler there? Would you like me to sound the alarm, sir? Yes. And then I'm gonna dash back to my position, which it gets weird because I know some of this I can fly, some of this I can walk. Um, mostly you're gonna have to be walking with the the limited ceiling. Okay. So my, can I get back to at least where I was? Uh, what's your movement? 30 feet? 25. 25. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I will say... Let's see. So, yeah, it's probably... We'd have to... So, uh, you could get... Hold on. Distance math is hard. Just trying to figure out a way to make 25 feet work. 
I'd say you probably can only get in front of the doorway. Yeah, I can probably only get in front of the doorway. There we go. That's all right. I think that's... If this this would get you back, just instead of going down instead of up. So, yes, okay. there is a path available to use 50 feet of movement if you're really <laughs> careful about it. So, yes. <laughs> okay. It, I just want to make sure I'm out of the way of the door. Um, so, the stealth was my action. The dash was my bonus action. That should be my turn. Perfect. And then the Jin is surprised. Vice Air. You, um, in your sleep... With the alarm sounded, the the tent, like you, you feel the bed pushing you, your bed pushing you onto your feet. Uh, emergency, sir. You're <laughs> and you see you are surrounded by invisible servants who are all holding out equipment to you and are dressing you rapidly. Cool. What would you like to do? You just you just went down the bad pole, dude. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I've been waiting for somebody uh, to use the tent alarm for like a year. <laughs> Holy initiative order, Batman. It's time to fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to run out here. Um, can I do... So I, I, I want to get the assassination damage. Or the, the, yeah, damage. Sneak attack damage. Okay. Um, or no, sorry, it's assassinate. It's assassinate. Yeah. Is that possible if I'm, if I'm stealthed? Um... Let's see. Can I forget? Can you stealth as a bonus action with the rogue thing that you got? No, but I can hasten a spell after I. Okay. Stealth. So if you use your action to stealth and then a quicken a spell, I'd say yes. Okay. Cool. So I will do that. Perfect. And it does have to target only one creature. The fireball was way too much. Remember? Oh that yeah. No. No. Yeah. Uh, this big guy in the middle. Perfect. I'm gonna hit him with an immolate. <laughs> All right. So, 38 plus sneak attack damage. <laughs> I'm going to give him... Oh, what did you roll for your stealth? Ooh. I didn't roll stealth, sorry. I That's thought good. I could just... I thought I just my action would do it. Uh, 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 where is stealth? Uh, not very good. Hey, That's good. You only had right. to beat his passive perception of 13, so... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Sneaky, so. sneaky! <laughs> You underestimate the sneakiness. Not <laughs> <laughs> Already. Uh, so he has to make his decks at disadvantage because he only heard at the last second fire coming for his life. Uh, so already failed. <laughs> so it's going to be 38 times 2, 76 points of fire damage. And he's burning. And he is on fire. <laughs> um, last time I checked, too, oxygen is very flammable. Just FYI. <laughs> True. That's what NASA told me. <laughs> Magical uh, wind is different. I don't know. And I'm gonna hop back in here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, holding us to Zarek. Zarek, you having the odd sensation of also being lifted onto your feet and people handing you any weapons that had been on the wall and not on your person. There's an alarm, sir. We are under attack. Point the way. And they all just point out the door. But it's probably out of the tent, right? Yeah, they just point <laughs> directly door. to the door. <laughs> hey, maybe they got in the tent. I don't know. I just woke up. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see. That's... Well, I guess the question is, is it 30 feet from the door of the tent, or... Door, from the door of the tent. 30 you, feet from... I'm giving, I'm giving okay. you guys 30 from the door, the, the door of the tent, because you don't have control over where you're sleeping, because that would be silly. That's fine. We'll say the alarm has right. warped the, the space inside the tent, so the exit to your door is the exit of the tent. Fucking magic! That that's, a, that's a rad tent. It All really right. is. Um, TJ spent a lot of money on the tent. <laughs> or Vicero did. Rad. Oh, yeah, I basically spent over half of all the money we had gotten up to that point. It was like over a thousand gold or something. Yeah, it was it crazy. Was, Fair enough. Shit load of gold. All right. And what okay. would you like to do? Uh, this is the first target I see in my line of sight. So we are for mind castering. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Half go. one. Uh, make an intelligence saving throw. Here we go. Perfect. Nothing happens. You're good. Okay, good. All right. And Eric hurt himself with his confusion. <laughs> that is not great either. What the hell? 
So 15. <laughs> With that crit fail, mm -hmm. Zarek misses having all 10 toes now. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't miss out. He just misses the one toe that's gone. My tootsies. All right, so. Oh my gosh. Important on. one for balance. <laughs> Get a druid who can cast regenerate now. Everything's fine. Here we go. Uh, 15 does not hit. Uh, I just woke up. I am a little groggy still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Right, so uh, you burst out of the Sleep door. in my eyes. I forgot to rub my eyes. And like as you you draw you you draw your mind caster, you accidentally as you're pulling it up, you actually shoot the ground, and then you second one, you're like fucking trying to shake the sleep off, <laughs> and as it glances off the the shoulder armor, the Remedon, you see is is cowering back from blood scale, doesn't even see you as it ricochets off. Mesnos. Hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, no, you, can. you got that, Brandon? The alarm yeah, is coming up. Uh, right. There's an alarm, sir. All right, and we're starting from their rooms, not the front of the tent. No, they're right? starting from the front of the tent because the uh, the alarm has uh, attached all doors, all of the right room here? doors. Yeah, you're starting there. Should be able to effectively so remember cut around. Just remember to, to take doors into consideration when measuring as well. I know, I know, I know. He was going to cut uh, right above there, so it should have been perfect. fine. Yep, perfect. And then... He's just going to agonizing blast fucking air boys. Perfect. Close air boy. Oblivious. Three blasts! Three blasts! Ah, ah! Ah! 26 hits, 20 hits. Go roll damage for both of those. Pop, pop! Pop, pop. Right. Go the blah, blah. So that's a total of 24 points of damage. Alright. Uh, bonus action. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this air Myrmidon is terrified. Let's see. There's they're just frightened of you, correct? Let's find out. This target's gonna frighten for you for three rounds. If threatened target takes any damage, they can repeat the saving throw. Yeah, so that one could take the saving throw again, the one that just got hit. Oh okay, perfect. That was uh wisdom. Fifteen. Oh <laughs> to two! Yeah, no, wow. so he's still terrified of me. Oh, yeah. So I know that field, bro. <laughs> I know that field. Uh, so he is going to... Uh, he's going to... Being hit by Mesnos and being afraid of Bloodscale, he's going to fly over to start wailing on Mesnos. Uh, he's going to do a multi-attack. Actually, no, the frightened no. creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of the sphere was, is, is within line of sight. Yeah, yeah, he'll still have disadvantage on the attacks. Okay. I no, I was reading that mostly for me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so he's gonna he has uh three flail attacks that he does. So first one. Eleven misses, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. Thirteen? Yes. Fifteen. Meets. Meets. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna do seven points of bludgeoning damage on that. And then he's going to use his lightning strike. Once he hit, on a hit, he's going to cause extra lightning damage. And he did a constitution saving throw from Mesnos. Holy crap. How many attacks does that guy have? Uh, he only has the three, but he can supercharge one like a smite. And okay. so Mesnos is going to be stunned. And yep, Mesnos is stunned damage. and 18 damage. And then I'll bring us oh. to blood scale. Math, right. math, math, math. Math, math. <laughs> well, a very simple boy uh, with simple things. From a simpler time. He's going to rage. Simple Perfect. rage. He's going to reckless. He's going to be shattering the grand illusion. That's right. 23 hit. Uh, 23, yes. Yeah, that'll boy. definitely hit. <laughs> 30 points of damage. Jesus. Alright. 
Let's do this. Does a 20 hit? A 20 hits. Do it. 25 more points of damage. Wolf. Okay, so he is he's well, straight uh, having actually, a bad time, what? yo. No, what happened? Sorry. Oh, he's just he's having a, he's straight having a bad time, yo. <laughs> oh, well, he, he was going to have mercy because I'm also dumping one smite. Perfect. Which I believe was 3d8? He's sure. I think that's what we called it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I gotta make a button for this. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen more. Good God, he is. He is. He is. <laughs> He's got about that much fight left in him. <laughs> oh man, he might That's burn to good, death. Because Jesus. blood scale while doing this is yelling yield. <laughs> Sorry, yelling yield. Okay, and he's on fire still, so. I'll bring us to, uh, whoop, that's the other, uh, the other side. It keeps going back to the Straight room, up, so. not having a good time. Straight up, not <laughs> having a good time. He, might, he uh, might be dead, actually, after the MLA, who knows. So this one is going to fly away from Blood Scale, but it can only get within... Is here. No. No, I like this Castlevania there. music. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, let's But see. what is a man? Nope. But a miserable pile of secrets. Alright, um, now we're used to Zephyr. <laughs> you are being, your, your bed is collapsing as you're being pushed onto your standing feet. Uh, there's an emergency, man, outside. We require your assistance. As everybody's handing you your weapons. Coming, coming. Oh. What's happening? And you'll start moving from there. Ah, uh, there's an emergency. We're under attack on the outside of the tent, madam. Got it! So I... Come on now. I peer through here. <laughs> See a bunch of people standing in front of the doorway. Why is everybody in the doorway? <laughs> you can That's see good. a stunned, kind of hurt Mesnos. Yeah, you see Mesnos just... Yeah, you, <laughs> you see Mesnos, he has like a big bruise on the side of his head in this... This thing's swinging like a, this chained mace next to him. He's just like, so. uh, where is my wearing it? That moment when everybody walks in front of the door and you just keep having to stop, like, oh, God, just, oh, <laughs> come on, go faster. I think with mobile you can probably get through the uh, the door because you have forty feet of movement, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you you can push past um, allies. They're they're they don't they won't hinder you. So you can make it to, all the way out to here if you want. Okay. Yeah, it's so here. Which was stupid because I don't know what the fuck I have left after two weeks. <laughs> you just had a long rest. Yeah. I did. Okay, so everything's. Yeah, you planned. you got everything. Okay. Well, that makes this so much easier. <laughs> So much easier. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, sure. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Oh, my bitch. Yeah. Uh, decisions, decisions. Alright, well, since I'm out here. The big guy next to Blood Scale is like really fucked up, by the way. <laughs> is he? Like really fucked. And we might not want to kill him. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 don't kill him. <laughs> He's on fire. He might die. I mean, if if <laughs> if it, what happens happens, I don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, starting from that point, so it doesn't hit anybody else. When I cast Rupting Earth. 
Okay. Is it erupting Not Earth? No. Damn it. No. Nice. Twenty foot shit. cube. Okay, that hits pretty hard. <laughs> it's <full of> hard. <laughs> All right, let's get these dexterity saving throws rolling. Let's see, does it? Oh man, see. I should have taken this opportunity to reverse gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Just crash. Oh, um, you got that too. Seven level spells. No, with... once a day. Oh, with... if you already have it. Maybe I'll look at something else then. No, mine's high level, like seventh level. I don't want to wait on that because I can do. Uh... Uh, okay, so it, it explodes in the cube. Okay, so they, they don't have Retro to be on the ground. So perfect. Um, genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know Failure. either. Failure. <laughs> Failure. Ah, shit, deck save. Failure. Woo. All right, so you as you, um, you'll you're in the cube, so you're gonna have to make you a deck save as well. Did, Carla? <laughs> I don't think it would. Uh, shit, from the no. from the point. Uh, you said 20 foot cube, and then it was. Uh, Opens a portal to see warrior. his long lost brother. Friends destroy the portal. We're not going to destroy the portal. Yeah, you get the, the genie, but you're also in it yourself. Spell. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, friend, uh, not friends. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, um, how do you want to finish this genie? Is he off? muted? I don't know. Boy, I howdy, you know I am. <laughs> All right, sorry. I was oh, looking up. Boy, howdy, why didn't you know there? I, I was oh, looking up uh, to see if uh, if they had to be on the ground. They don't. It erupts from the ground, so they all got super screwed by this. Um, but you're in the, okay. the area of effect as well, so you're going to have to make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. Okay. You're going to hit yourself in the chin. Oh, yeah, I'm going to punch myself in the face. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Because I am still sleepy, okay? Like, you wake up from a dead sleep and somebody tells you to kill something, you might mess up, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You might hit yourself in the face. One time I woke up with both Dex. my arms asleep. And I, I wiggled my arms so hard that I hit okay. myself in the face with my dead hand. So I also take the damage. So, uh, as you... Um, okay, so this definitely kills the djinn. Uh, how do you... What, is that, what does that look like? What, what happens to this poor son of a bitch? <laughs> Does it kill him? Is it in his Oh, he's range? dead. He is dead. Okay. He's fucking Oops. dead. <laughs> okay, so basically everybody hears this deep rumbling all of a sudden and just out of the ground starts like stabbing uh, columns just going straight up into the air and one goes through the Jin's torso. Oh, fuck. And as it erupts through him, it bursts out. You see the genie try to uh, the the air elementals trying to dodge out of the way, but each of them get uh, gets like boulders that fly through and crack them over into the head. One trying to get away, and these two bits come together, pff, crush it for a second as it squeezes out. And uh, the genie though, he's just looking at this chest. It, he's, he's, uh, he dies. And as Rock soon as he answers. as soon as he does. <laughs> You see the the air elementals who are swinging their weapons, ready just to like they just stand there. Ulu, in the tent, you hear. Uh, there's an emergency. There's an emergency going on. <laughs> God <damn it>. My <laughs> God! <laughs> red morph ship. There's everyone there's an emergency. emergency. There's an emergency, there's an emergency going, going on. on. That, we all know that's what you would have gotten. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> and uh, so you, you're being um, like already lifted to your feet, and uh, all of these spectral servants are handing you your weapons. All right. I'd like to think that I'd be ready somewhat quickly, since this is not my first time camping no, out uh, yeah, on a pretty, war. Usually pretty, on, pretty battle bad ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Magic tents are helpful. Although, you know, the spectral servants thing is pretty new to me. <laughs> well, it's funny, like, one goes to grab your the, the great sword that you carry on your back, but it just floats over and rests behind your back without any help or prompting. Look, she's a Final Fantasy character. The <laughs> <laughs> anime character ever! <laughs> my sword is my knife. All right, yeah, with, uh, with Molly, it's a gut reference for sure. Guts! <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who wants so eggs? Than her. <laughs> top ten, top ten characters I wouldn't want to be in an anime. Let me see guts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, never mind. Anyway, uh, I'll, uh, my, my answer is civilian. Ooh, I don't want to yeah. be a civilian. Yeah, that's fair. Is it on the park? So, where's number I mean, three? Ding. All I want to do is get in there and stabby, as Perfect. as per your tradition. As is tradition. Perfect. Um, so I believe you have 40 feet of movement, if I'm not mistaken. 30 feet? You have 30 feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so how would you like to, to get all up in there? Uh, what a question. <laughs> Beer is 10 feet of range. You, you yeah. Shake it by people. I can go. Whoops. <laughs> She's like... waggling it through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sonic. People are busting out of the door and then all of a sudden just. <laughs> hey, come on. I all mean, right, that's so... what you do with a pole arm, right? You just shove yeah. it through the door. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, go so, uh, Make shove your attacks it. at advantage as this thing seems to have stopped defending itself. Oh. If Sad. You, if you want to attack it, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean. Okay. Do I? <laughs> Alright, roll all three at advantage. Oh, is there yeah. any way to do is advantage in uh, D&D Beyond, or enough. does that have to be... Stepping stuff in place. Um, if you I go to know. the Beyond 20 button at the top, um, uh, I believe you can change the type of that. roll to roll with advantage. And you can even have it ask you what, it, what you want to roll every time, or you can just set it to roll with advantage or disadvantage. So that'll do it. Uh oh, hell it go. Where are you oh, going? Go. I got it. I got it. I'll tell you. I got it. Hell yes, hell yes, hell yes. All right. Hey guys, I just got a new headgear. Oh god, yeah. Go and roll the damage for that. Critical Does it hit? hit. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh damn. Fucking hell. All right, so, and it didn't even double it, so that's going to be 10, 18 points of slashing damage. For five in. All right. Next attack. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that, that'll nice. definitely fucking yeah. hit. Uh, roll the, the damage for that one. Oh, call that a double crit. Okay, so. I roll a lot of damage. It's a bit of a delay, and I got impatient. That's okay. A uh, last hit. Anyway. <laughs> Uno Steppy. I'll wait this time. Right, 23 oh. hits. Go ahead and roll that damage. Shame. Holy shit. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> fucking dead. Um, so, like, uh, the rest of you are, like, all face out, and then you just hear, <laughs> Zodok, you just see these quick flashes of weapon behind you, and then uh, and then you just see the Myrmidon up to your left. You see its, its helm just starts to crack open from the first strike, and as it starts to fall, you see two more quick, one quick strike into the center, cracking the armor, and then the last one that shoves in and then twists, breaking the armor in pieces as it snaps apart the entire thing, <laughs> spins around in a whirlwind of dust disintegrating. Uza, Balana, Samran, Zumber, Scott Hill. <laughs> oh god, this is not what I wanted to happen at all, even the slightest little bit. <laughs> oh fuck, okay. <laughs> just, as all of this is happening, I'm just... <gasps> <laughs> at least um, Bloodscale was trying to tell the thing to yield. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to bring him in for questioning. I really did. <laughs> uh, the thing in front of me it's not moving right it's just no. kind of hanging out um yeah let me see how much did he get killed by yeah. one second he had 15. no he no, killed no, by like 35 points of damage there's no way to... <laughs> like i was no, like I meant, maybe I meant, but no I meant oh yeah this, this one yeah this one's just just hanging out okay i'm just yelling at everybody stop killing shit <laughs> that's what i wanted to happen and I'm gonna dash out the door and see if I can see anyone from the council. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and make a uh, perception check. <laughs> 33. That's a natural 20. <laughs> you know, I was waiting for when they would happen. Like, you guys always roll them in bunches. It's really weird. So, as you uh. run outside, 
you're looking around, trying desperately to see kind of what is happening out here. And then you see there's nothing really anywhere close. In the sky, there's some more Myrmidon kind of flying around. It's an early dawn. None of them seem to notice you. You see there are roaming... If you With a 33, you look out farther and farther, and you see that there's... Um, at the very edges of the city with your one mile goggles on, uh, you do see that there's multiple dead bodies of not only the lost and the broken, but also there are a few Aarakocra bodies. You recognize there are a few of the, some are even wearing the skulls of the, the druids. But it looks like they've held the line for the night and the day is now occurring. You see up in the air, there are roaming patrols of the Air Myrbidon and Jin who have seemed to have taken up the guard duty for the day. They're not reacting hostily towards the, the windmill, though. Haven't even noticed it. Okay. Um, I don't know how much movement, action, economy I have left, but I'm just going to, if I can, get back inside and just be like, wait, stop, everyone, just stop. Uh, is uh, does everybody stop when Uza asks you to stop? Yeah, sure. Perfect. So we'll drop turn order. So at this point, you are free from movement restrictions. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the Myrmidon and just, who sent you? Just the air keeping it aloft. I'm gonna it hold up the pen and forward. Like by the name in the name of the azure god of akadi what is your business Thank here god, guard jesus i you said know? guard oh nope <laughs> didn't i it nope. sounded like god that's great. <laughs> um, oh no he I, changed I, accents I, in the middle of the sentence okay guys. oh that's hard <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big, but deal. it does happen <laughs> by the name of the azure Accent guard the of akadi what business do you have in here defense ask him what he's defending what are you defending defend the eerie why did the jinn come in here defend the eerie from what guys we may have just Brutally murdered three things that we literally didn't have to that have nothing to do with any of this. We should probably go back to hiding. Oh, Lord of Mercy. Why did you hit the alarm, though? I thought that it was... Oh, no. I did, too. Oh, I mean, no. by all looks of it. Uh, I'm just saying. We might we fault. might just be now out in the open with our asses out if we don't get back to hiding. Do you have another command uh, as your guard? Exit and resume your patrol. Yes. He just starts to fall. And on his way out, just tell no one of what you saw in here. Of what happened in here. Yes. And it exits. Is there... The air there, elementals are a bit more intelligent than other elementals. Are there are bodies? Bodies? Not elementals, technically. Yes, these are... are body, blood, or anything like that? Um, the only evidence of the fight uh, is, due to the nature of the Air Elemental Myrmidon and the Jinn, the only thing that would remain is an oversized scimitar that the Jinn was holding. I'm a big strong boy. I'm going to pick that up. Okay. I'm um, going to Arcana it, check it as well. Sure. Uh, so this is a um, it's a great sword. It does 2d6... Uh. Um, damage Fuck and, about swords. Um, it adds 1d6 lightning or thunder damage uh, and you can choose either when you make the attack so it's a great sword not a scimitar that's correct yeah it's a great sword it's um it's a scimitar sized for a basically kind of large elemental giant he's he's kind of giant comparatively i was about to get excited okay uh, i might give this to ulu later but i'm just gonna put it in the bag now <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, right, Jin's uh, Jinny Scimitar. D J I N N I Scimitar. You know how to spell Scimitar. Yeah. You think it? Yeah. Scimitar. <laughs> What's that? Scimitar. 
I said it's Skimitar. Skimitar? Skimitar. Skimitar. Skimitar, yeah. You gotta come at me with one of them Skimaters now. Come on now, here. Alright. Other than that. Jin from What the Wilds, they've been talking about, I'll tell you what. The only. So the only other evidence is the exploded ground. Uh, the the ground is completely that. blown up that and that. That. the and I kind of just try to the hand. circle at the top has been also knocked off and is laying flat instead of floating. I... All right, I got some work to do now. I'm gonna okay. fix it. <laughs> How are you gonna uh, fix it? Same spell. <laughs> You're gonna blow I it up again? I do, huh? Right. <laughs> You blow it's, it up right this time. <laughs> it's like dynamite. You can't you can't just throw more dynamite at it and make it smooth again. <laughs> Shit, hang on. Uh, well, it moves the earth, right? Yeah. It, the earth explodes in a 20-foot cube. Yeah. Oh. Anybody got stone shape? This is notorious terrain. Uh, I chose regenerate instead of mirage arcane. So, sorry. See if this has anything for this. I uh, have nothing that would add me red. Here we go. Looks fine. <laughs> Just kidding. Five oh. feet of it. <laughs> Five feet of it looks that great. That one spot looks great. So there we go. You know what? Just fucking don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> one minute. <laughs> it's yeah, not a, a problem. Lot. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, Somebody will have to come in and then they'll act all surprised and they'll give me a chance to charge them. It's fine. Okay, it's alright. I'll put the here. Wait, I could put the bricks back with telekinesis, Kyle. Telekinesis. If need be. You know what? Up to ten minutes. You can move an object that weighs up to a thousand pounds. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do just a, a charisma check to see how well you can put it back together with your telekinesis. I say, yeah, we'll we'll let this let this happen. And I'll say advantage just like, for thinking of fucking telekinesis. That's fucking great. This is the, the teleporter thing. Like this is very important. We do it's this, the right? entire ground around it has been exploded out, okay. and the and the teleporter's on its side. So um, yeah, give me um, a charisma <laughs> check at advantage. Jesus, Kyle. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, it's perfect. We got to find. What it. about the nobody's power? gonna know anything? <clears throat> You watch. Um, <laughs> you guys watch as Vicer just carefully. You see, he his, he he just kind of a Wonder Boy. <laughs> wonder Boy. Uh, he starts to just he, he kind of like. Actually, you know what? Describe what does it look like, Vicer? Like, like that Captain scene Bob. from uh, Half Blood Prince where Dumbledore. <laughs> Slughorn put the house the house back in order. Yeah! <laughs> Waving his hands around and everything's just like flying back in place. And then you see I'm not vice there. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> uh, Wait, what? If, usually whatever the goofiest option is, is the one we go with. So, right. so you see, uh, vice is like, and you, and vice you just like, um, on the, just oh, like no, you know what, you know what, impulse? I'm going to like move my hands like I'm conducting and rub my fucking finger rings together. So where it's exactly. like, like music. Perfect. That's what you make know. it quiet. Make it quiet. Make it quiet. Oh, it's, 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 it's just this gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and it just well it's good to know that anything I can destroy with my chaos you can put together with your level headedness <laughs> oh no and and actually, actually whatever you can destroy with your chaos I can make better with my also chaos <laughs> alright go back to hiding you damn nerds Sorry, wake me up if you need me I'm going back to bed sorry about that did, uh, did next we time, just, let me know if I'm supposed to kill anyone. Did we just kill servant of Akati? Same. Don't know. Well, we're doing or we killed best. servants of her fucking son because those air elementals were pretty much the same as we fought there. <laughs> yeah, but they're just... Yeah. Can't you just ask her? Can't you, like, ring her up on the telly? Welcome to a moral gray area. If it serves the greater good, we should be fine. Let's Great go back to hiding. <laughs> hmm. Moral gray area. You'll get your answer later. Fuck, this is not the time. 
Well, is there any markings or anything on their clothing? They completely disappear oh. when they're dead. That's yeah, yeah. part of what they yeah. are. Is there nothing in the, 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 the shimitar? Put it in the bag. We don't have time to look at it right now. <laughs> Just, uh, well, I can go, I can Blood, go look at it. Bloodscale, did you get any feeling of necromancy from, from the Myrmidons? I didn't hit them. So back inside the tent, I'm going to be looking at the, the, the shimator. Not, it's in the bag, which is on blood scale, which is not in the tent. Well, give me the fucking sword so I can look at it. You can't carry the sword. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll be fine and drag it over there. I, I just hand you the... No, before I go into my hiding spot, I hand you the bag of holding, and then I go fucking into the hiding spot. Jesus Christ. That works. <laughs> okay. Go into the... Yeah, and then go into yeah, just the, want to get busted, don't you? The tent and check it out. Hold on, before before everybody goes back in the tent, just he came in here for a reason, you hope right? So, yeah. so he came to check it was things a, out. It was a, they opened the portal, they looked through it, they closed the portal, they were no, leaving. I, under, I understand that. What I'm saying is, if he came in here to check if the coast was clear, if Yan C Bin was waiting for whoever the council member is. A council member might be waiting for this guy to come back and report, and if he doesn't, he could disappear. We might have to go confront hey, the council. Hey, as right regard, now. maybe you can tell a Jin, because they pretty much all look the same. Oof. Oh! <laughs> they all look very similar. That's racist. Well, here's the thing, right? You, you know what? This could lead to. They're magical man. creatures. They all looking. Fuck off! <laughs> Like, I can right? alter myself to look like the djinn if you think it'll give us an upper hand in some situation. You, you can't make yourself it. large enough. It's a large creature. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. Could you alter my appearance? Because I can make myself large. No. Uh, the, so the alter appearance can only make you look like a foot larger or a foot shorter. And you have to be in a no, humanoid form for it to work. Oh, well, that's... You know what? I got an idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back outside and I'm going to see if I can see that Myrbidon, that air elemental. Make a perception tell him apart from the check. This is where the DM goes. They all look the same, and you're like, motherfucker. Right? No, with the 32, you'd be able to recognize there is one that is slightly more damaged than the others. I'm gonna go up to him, and I'm gonna, like, return to the member of the council and tell him that Yancy Bin awaits him. Which member of the council? The one who sent you and the Jin here. I received my orders from the Jin. Motherfucker. Fine. Uh, just. <laughs> I. Pres whose mother shall I have intercourse with? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> your own! <laughs> Forget everything that you've seen in the last 10 minutes and go on about your patrol. No. Go back inside. Take up a position. Go back to where I was and go to sleep. Okay. Hi. Um, oh, and you, I'll. Do you know um, they look exactly like the other one? I'll I'll go grab Maverick and have him come hang out with me. Perfect. Mav flies over. God, I fucked that one up. <laughs> All right. So, just so I know, is the is the plan just to keep? keeps hanging here until some of the council comes or are you guys headed to the council to find out who sent them? Hey, Bloods, Kale, if nobody comes in two hours, wake me up and we just, we're just we just going to go. I'm, I'm going to go to the council. Uh, no, yeah, we're going to go to the council. But <laughs> yes. <on>. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um, Bloods, Kale, can I get another uh, perception check if you're staying on guard? Yeah, dog. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Oh, dog. Yeah, okay, yeah. Dog. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. Dog, yeah. I love that, that uh, most of us. Yeah. Uh, it should be the 23. I don't have advantage. Okay. Either way. Oh, um, good roll. So uh, as you you're you're keeping watch and everything, you you kind of like um, peek out the door every once in a while. You you see that um, no one's even seems interested in the windmill. Uh, it just seems to be spinning up. Um, you notice that um, you do see a, like some air coker occasionally um, go into the level above this where there's like a big grindstone. You see some people are some are flying in occasionally with um, like wheat and stuff to to grind down into flour, but no one even seems to notice that the the hidden entrance for the full two hours. 
Mm -hmm. For all two hours. All right, go wake up fucking Uza. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I mark my long rest now? Yes, yeah, you can mark your long rest. Everybody else, you can mark a short rest for the two hours. So if you guys want to use hit dice to recover HP instead of spells and stuff, you can do that. Uh, and any benefits you get from a short rest, I know Mezzi will get his spells back. He didn't use any. Oh, okay. <laughs> he can use hit dice then. Uh, yeah. You gotta! Uh, I believe you get your wild shapes back, but you don't get your spells back until a long rest. Okay, but I mean... Uh... How can I get my hit points back? Oh, with your hit dice. So I believe druids are a 1d8. So basically you roll a d8, you add your um, your constitution modifier, and you can gain that many back. And however, you have 13 hit dice at this point that you can use um, to regain health that way. And you can only recover half of them in a day. So if you use more than half, um, you'll, you'll be missing one for tomorrow sort of thing. Okay, so d8... Mesnos just used. That many. Perfect. Okay. Six. Were you even hit? She blew herself. I off. hit myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rufus. All right. So five, nine, eleven. Might do it. calculator because i'm tired okay that's all right um you can you can do that and are you just gonna do it until you you heal all the way up yeah perfect okay so just mark however many hit dice you end up using and then um so we can all right everybody uh so you all are headed out um are you guys just headed straight to the library or what's the what's the plan i think we need to go to the council i'm worried that they're either already gone or made some alibi. Well, either way, we'll make it a lot harder for them to like do anything. I mean, take take away their opportunities. Does anyone have spells that can prevent someone from lying? Oh, that would be great. I uh, would. I can detect I... their thoughts. All oh, right, and... that's what I'm talking about. Hey, How I'm far out was the hobgoblin army? <laughs> couple days all right um, well, that means we have time there well, we can do this council business and then hopefully oh, I'm gonna go in and tell him we Where have news I'm, I'm gonna tell him that we have news about the hobgoblin army hopefully that will get them to all gather in the room and if not um, I might be dragging some people out <laughs> you want help I am big and strong. Well, I mean, I, I'm not hollow bird bones, you know, not very strong. <laughs> well, I will. I'll be the muscle. As Ooh, I showed sure you some can. muscle earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a Oh my god. If I can destroy that thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, as you guys make your, your way out of. Uh, the the this under the under the windmill temple you you um, you guys just <sighs> brain is dead never mind uh, so you guys start um, making your way briskly I assume you're you're at a decent pace back to the the council and you're like running not just walking I am I am blatantly moving with purpose perfect okay so like uh, you see um, like a few few people like wave and like oh that's the dog for you you hear like some whispers about like you know how you guys like fought in the night um a few nights ago and just some general like kind of like you get some waves back like really enthusiastic i have things. mesnos on my shoulders because i know he walks a bit slower than everybody else no not anymore doesn't doesn't matter i'm doing it anyways out of habit yeah, he, he, he doesn't even think about it he's just kind of like sitting <laughs> right. i'm just snickering. i think i'm i think i'm the slowest one in the party yeah, you yeah. fly uh, i assume you're <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I don't want to fly too fast and leave everybody in the dust. Oh, wait, yeah. It's like this weird, like, every now and then I'll walk and just realize I'm slowing everyone down and then fly and then just, oh, just walk and just <laughs> pissed and flustered and just... I can hold out my arm like a perch. I'm strong <laughs> enough. It's fine. 
right, so uh, Mesnos not, will not hop at this down. moment, but I want to do that later. <laughs> All right, so um, you guys make your way, and you hear the kind of the whisperings. You even you even see the the one who's like, "See, they are the ones who told me this was a well, a good accent to have." The two can <laughs> just kind of like muttering to people on the side. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, serious, serious and <clears throat> And then you guys make your way to the uh, level of that first floor, and uh, you're greeted by the. Oh, hello again. It's uh, awfully nice to see you, Don Forged Company. Although before we enter, I will actually let Mesnos down because this is a serious moment. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you let Mezzi down, and then um, so I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. With the is the Hobgoblin army further or closer than we thought? We have very important news for the council. Yeah. Um, Excellent. And, uh, pardon my abruptness, news? but we we, oh. we need to see them now, and I'm just gonna continue in. Oh, okay. Uh, but do you want me to? Thank oh. you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's nice to say that as I wave as I walk in behind you. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, um, if they need to be summoned, <clears throat> summon them. I, I will do my best. And you see, uh, he grabs like a, a bell and he rings it. You, although when he rings it, you guys don't hear anything. Um, and you make your way. It's been up for years. The uh, second floor, and mm -hmm. uh, as you arrive, you see that there, uh, the council is uh, kind of all gathered, and they seem to be talking. And um, you see, they they're they're all kind of talking to a goj who Rosh Rohanar, who's like standing in front of him. He's like. Uh, you just, as you walk in, you hear, but I don't understand any of this. What, if, what are you even talking about? I, I thought we were going to work together on trying to f solve this problem. And then uh, as you, you walk in, you're noticed first by the kind of the, the oldest one at the top here. Um, at Skruvak, and he looks at me like, ah, look who it is, the Dan Forged Company, back with a war report, I have no doubts, of the Hobgoblin issue, and... There goes away with you. We will discuss this later. Yeah. Then it goes. Hey, goes. You, go, you want to stay? Yeah. Well, what was he saying? Uh, um, I'm gonna look over at Derek and, and nod at him. And just uh, before we get started, I'm paying attention to every single person I can to see if I can either insight or perceive sure. any sure, sure, nervousness sure. or. For sure. uh, foul okay. play so for insight if they say something Other that birds. you want to insight specifically what they're saying let me know um so i'm, I'm having everybody's I'm, I'm counting everybody as on high alert right now so um you'll get more insight checks than you normally would as this is going to be kind of more of a social encounter so i, I have you all kind of mentally on high alert all, all so uh, let me know uh, anything you you want to insight i'm trying to get a ghost to stay same. Okay. Oh, uh, I would love to stay actually and hear this report. Right as I would be part of the planning if it were. Is that all right, Council? Kind of like gives like the tiniest little bow. If you must stay, stand over to this side. Now, uh, a report on <coughs> on these hobgoblins. Was that? Uh, I'm gonna insight. How sickly is that cough sounding? I'll roll an insight <laughs> check. 13. Uh, he is pretty genuine, of, actually, about the, the cough. He seems to be uh, having a bad time as far as that goes. Yeah, he's definitely sus. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one who gave uh, me crap about that exact phrase last last time we got together. Yeah, but now oh, it's part yeah. of the cultural icon. Hey, it's like okay. <laughs> no, see, no uh, it's, it's, it's funny if I do it. <laughs> that has changed. All right. What? Bloodgale's going to turn right. around to mutter and do whatever little stupid hand sign he has to do to do his uh, once a day detect magic. And then turn around again. And okay. Let's see. All right. What's going on? What are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? All right. Um, well, maybe that cough's necromantic for all, <laughs> for all we know. Let's go. I mean, if he has like cancer or some sort of disease, he'd be more apt to sell everyone out for immortality, right? So. All right. Oh, yeah, might does. have the stench of necromancy on him. Let's see. So, as far as magic goes, um, you do see that they're like they they're a member. Almost every single member of the council does have magic items of some sort. Um, you see, they. Um, let's see. So, the the red uh, Wulurai, 
Uh, they seem to have um, their... You see there's like a, a small, like... It almost looks like an incense burner, but it has it's clearly been made into a mace uh, that has some sort of magicalness about it. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the sensor uh, mace, I understand. Uh, the old, uh, the the owl-looking guy with the long eyebrows over here, uh, you know him as Frillet, uh, you see that his staff is magical, is, is magical as hell. Um, Whippelet, um... Wiblet's the only one. Sorry, Wiblet is this one. He's the only one who doesn't have anything magical on them. And then you see that um, uh, over here, uh, Qu uh, Quilletic is does have a magical sword. And then um, Scravac, Scravac's uh, quarterstaff is definitely magical, and um, he does seem to have some sort of arcane, like ward or something, like warping around him. And, does, um, does anything give me that that taste that I got from the the air elemental? Because tech magic does also let me learn at school of magic. Let's see. The air elemental would have been. Let me check air elementals real quick. I, well, because yes, you when I yeah. when I suck that air elemental in when we're fighting Akati's son, you said I it yes Those, left so, a necromantic taste. I'm looking for that in particular. No, no one. None of them have a necromantic uh, magic about them. I'm also gonna look left at a gauche. A oh, gauche. All right. Just in case. <laughs> yep. Um, let me check his inventory real quick. I believe he does have some magical items on him, and he just actually... just more specifically for that that very that disgusting flavor. That's all I'm looking for. Oh, okay. Um, He's so... just getting a quick glance of nope. <laughs> So while let me see, does he have anything that's necromantic? I am, I try to remember if he has anything that he doesn't. He doesn't have anything that is uh, specifically that um, that kind of feel to it. Um, you do notice that um, he is super super on edge, and with detect magic, you see he actually has mage armor cast on himself. Like you see this kind of shimmering magic that's. Um, underneath his robes. Can't blame him for being weirded out by these fucks, so. <clears throat> uh, so. Just gonna keep an eye out. But this shit lasts for up to 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna keep an eye out. Perfect. Um, so, um, unless perfect. anybody else has anything, I'm gonna do my thing. Yeah, so. do you think I'm gonna be perception checking to see who the startles? And that's the point. Wooler, um, the the red. Uh, go ahead, sorry, uh, Zodic. Just my 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 purpose here is to see which of them seems like the most uncomfortable, the most you know, sure. suspicious with insight, and then use sure. detect thoughts on them. Okay. Although I can basically detect thoughts last for a minute, and I can basically. Okay. Focused on any one. All right. Let me know Every who. Every six um, seconds, apparently. <laughs> let me know who you'd like to start with and when you're starting it. Now, did you cast this before entering the room? Or are you going to have to try to cast it? If so, does it have verbal and somatic components? Let's see, it does actually. Yes. No. Are those uh, shooed by your race? I can do it as a Githzerai, and then I also have it as a okay, wizard so, spell. Yeah, so in order to cast it without using any of the um, the verbal or somatic components, you're going to have to use the, the once-a-day racial um, detect thoughts. Yeah. Uh, just as a heads up, because um, I know sure. that can I can trip up. Okay, perfect. So uh, let me know when you're doing it, and then we'll, we'll kind of take it from here. Uh, so it's at this point where uh, Wulurai, the, the red, kind of looks over and like, so are they closer or farther than we thought they were? And how many are coming for our little city here? So, bear with me a moment, but I bring terrible news. Mm. News that could possibly doom the entire Eyrie. News of what sort? Um, what say? There are forces that are moving against not just the Eyrie itself, but us as a people. 
they all kind of like mutter to each other. Well, out with it. What, what, what is this horrifying news of, for the Empire? Well, the eerie. Who just called it an Empire? Screw back. Inside and check. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. call an inside check on that. Perfect. So, um, Sainsies. Okay. All right, so 15, 18. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, uh, so 15. Um, hard to tell if it was like a slip of the tongue or not, or if he's just old. Um, and his generally know. sour disposition. Um, let's see, an 18. Uh, Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're gonna have to limit how many insight checks per sentence here, guys. <laughs> well, why don't we just pick pick whoever has the highest, give them fucking advantage. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So, I have eight. I have nine. And I and I cannot roll below an eighteen. I have zero. I kind of so, I kind, wow. I kind of like the not being able to roll below an eighteen though. So how about this? Um, we'll just limit it to two. So you guys can choose because it's hard for you guys to give advantage without speaking to each other um, and using so the help action. Zephyr. So we'll say um, uh, for this one, we'll do it with you and Zephyr because um, you guys would have chose you to. Um, but remember, Zarek at some point is going to want to roll so he can determine when to use his detect thoughts. Uh, yeah. So uh, 18. It's hard to tell, like, because he doesn't seem embarrassed about it at all. He just seems to have genuinely slipped up and is just kind of old um except for the <laughs> with a 21 uh you don't know if you you think he might he his memory might be going like he is he is that old and he is just pissed all the time um and you can <sighs> you get the idea that like he might have used the empire because he came from um the empire that's based in Menestros. And that's where he spent his most brain, of his slip of the tongue. Time. Dude, yeah, exactly. same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not the worst news. The worst news is we have an idea. I guess it could be good. We have an idea of who might be responsible for this grave threat against the Arakokra. It's not the Hobgoblins. And then it's at this point, um, Frillet, uh, the Alexander. There is something greater threat than a hobgoblin army, I believe. Yeah. That was the closest to danger that we've been. No, this, this, this is closer still because the, the threat to the Arakokra as a whole, our people, our way of life, our very freedom, stands in this room. Bit it out already, whipple it. They stand in this room. They all look at Ogoj, and he just... I have done nothing but serve this Inside city. Check I'm not check everyone. speaking of <laughs> Inside check him when they say, when he says, you know, they're in this, in the killer's in this room. I was actually okay. going to inside everybody looking over at Ogoj. So we'll, we'll do it this way. Um, so, Vice, you said it first. Pick one. Who do you want to inside? Yo, oh, I thought that that was, like, the team was going to inside... We're, we're, I'm, I'm giving everybody I'll, somebody I'll, to look at. I'll <laughs> incite a gauge. That way Agoge. everyone else can incite the rest of them. <laughs> okay, uh, roll your insight check. He is baffled yeah, of why yeah. they're even oh, looking at him. One. You can tell he's he feels fucking betrayed. Alright. Alright. Um, and then can I do mine on the council? Sure. Who would you like to choose on the council? Uh, do I have to choose someone specific? I was kind of looking to see if anybody on the council hesitated and just was like, "Oh yeah, a uh, gauge." We're gonna we're gonna have you do uh, somebody specific, um, so that way. Okay, I'm gonna I'm can... gonna go for um, quill trick. Perfect. Oh fuck! Twenty six quilletic. Um, with a twenty six insight, you saw that. Um, she only ended up looking at uh, Agoge at the very end. She originally had turned her head all the way to the right and was starting to look at Wolorai uh, uh, before uh, she saw him looking and then immediately snapped her head at the last second to Agoge. Okay. Right. Anybody else want to insight this whole the council? Um, show thing. That's that's a that's a detect thoughts moment. Perfect. Okay. Uh, who are you choosing yeah. to detect thoughts on? Okay, so let me cast. Oh, 
I guess that's not really a... Um, all right, so I am going to start... Uh, let's see. So basically, reading this as it's written, every, mm -hmm. technically every turn, I can change per person, so I get six seconds per person. That's correct, and you can you get the, 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 the service skin. You starting? I'm gonna I'm gonna start where everybody else looked. Okay. Uh, so yeah. service service thoughts right about here. of Ogo is mm -hmm. just, just I can't believe after all that I've done for them that they would even try to throw me to the wolves. What the hell is all of this? What the hell is going on? That's yeah, good enough for me. Perfect. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to insight some anybody on this shift? Someone inside the guy that that one looked at. <laughs> I can't do Wooler it. Is that the red bird? Yep, Woolerai. Yeah, he's brightly colored. I'd go for that. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, I go and roll. Look at the plumage. It's the red herring. Uh. Seventeen. Uh, so you see, um. Uh, as he he looks, you, you see he he immediately looks at Ogoge. But then you see his eyes kind of flitter back, and you see he's trying to catch the eyes behind and around him to see if they all followed his um, initial look. I nudge Mesnos. I uh, mm. motion towards him. Keep an eye. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you accuse Ogos here of then? If he is one I did not accuse. I did not accuse. I did not <laughs> I accuse. Don't find me. <laughs> well, 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 it's well, my well. mouth. You put mm. it's not, in my beak. Uh, <laughs> I did not accuse Ogos of anything. That is your own doing. I simply said that there's someone in this room, specifically on the council. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who on this council do you accuse, and what do you accuse them of? Well, I will get to this. A murder must foul. Sorry. Uh, the... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Okay. Well, you see it, um, Spectre! <laughs> Whipplet at this point is the... like... Uh, Whipplet at this point will reject it. Like, you accuse the council of doing what? Like, you, you can't accuse get the whole back council, to it. Just someone on the council someone desperate to extend their years someone so yearning for more time that they would make a deal they all not just for themselves but other. for everyone trying to sell you all out they all start someone who would be willing to sell out your very souls for immortality hey, to Yancy Bin Yancy Bin? For I'm gonna says. insight check Wulari because they've been quiet as fuck. Wulari, the red. Yeah. No, no, sorry. The yeah, Wulari. I don't have any notes on them yet. So. Sure. Perception check to see if anybody twitched when the name Yancey Ben was stated. Perfect. Go and roll it. Uh, so insight check twenty three. Um, uh, you see. He's looking around at the at all of the rest of the council, and all of them are, are kind of just they're all exchanging glances, uh, and you see that none of them are looking like the most of them are, are looking more surprised than anything. Him, Wolleri, pretending to, is is might be pretending, but he also does. There is some genuine surprise, but it's hard to nail down what the surprise was. Uh, Twenty four, you uh, you see, fr uh, yeah, Frillet, uh, just as like. It just says out, yeah, Yonsi Bin with a question mark on the end of it. And then I was, oh, I was looking more for like a twinge recognize, recognizing. In the face. Um, let's see, twenty four. Was there anybody in particular you were looking at? Red boy, will or I? Okay. Um, yeah, with a twenty four, he does kind of like blink in like a shit. On his face. <laughs> I cast fireball. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm moving my attention. I, I, well, I will. I will pull right. up my. I will pull up my. Zarek doesn't have a sending stone, does he? No. I do. 
Oh no, he does. I thought I'd, I was given That's one. That's right. Yeah. You you were. Oh, you yeah, were. I it's, yeah, it's you got it in the yeah. dwarf city made. So I just pick mine up and I'm like, check out the red one, would you? So before you said okay. it, you said you were you were focused on. Uh, um, yeah, in the while okay. everybody's been talking, I've been moving attention. Yeah, so know, especially once I got that, didn't need a whole lot to realize that uh, our friend here isn't isn't a problem. Whiplet at that moment with his his surface detect thoughts would just be like, "Oh God, we're gonna have to kill them, aren't we?" And you see, he's looking oh, over that's at the others. Not helpful. <laughs> and then, as uh, then, Aseric, the the oldest, says, oh, so who do you accuse of such treachery?" I wanted to come here and give you the chance. The opportunity to come forth and confess your sins. Who are you accusing? So no they one know. no one wants to come forward. <laughs> they no know one wants who's... to remain the remain a member of their community and be able to like have their head held high. Cause I'll tell you what, whoever it was we foiled it. It's done. It's never going to happen. So I'm you're fucked. You. And you can either stay part of your community <laughs> or you can and, and come out now or we can cross you out. And I'm pretty sure we can do it. Playing so, that negative wisdom to the hilt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, if, if, if one of you'd like to, like, I don't know, not be the biggest disappointment in the history of Eric Okra, that'd be cool. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have spoke. What have you done? <laughs> Ooh, who said that? Uh, Sir Skrivak said, What have you done? And then you see next to him... Uh, what do you mean? What are you accusing us of? Quilletic. Quilletic. Like, <laughs> he tries to, like, puts a hand <laughs> on on his... Pu puts a hand on his old shoulder and is like, I really don't know anything yet. And then Willerai is like, uh, They couldn't. <laughs> and then you hear... <laughs> then you, you just see at the end... They're all in on it, Whip, boys. Whiplate pulls <laughs> his swords. He pulls swords, spins them in his hand, and he's like, I told you we'd have to kill them eventually. And then with I that, cast, Aseric oh. throws um, uh, something to the ground, and he, uh, you see, as it hits the ground, this gas starts oozing in from the bookcases, and, for, and it's just... <laughs> It pushes itself Ice through man. as it's almost pulling itself. And that's where we're going to end. <laughs> oh, motherfucker, they're all in on it. Oh, nice ice mask. Just, just ice time. mask immediately. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I was going to I was gonna cast slow before he did that, but I guess it, it, not fast enough. Um, Who would you cast slow on? Well, I can cast it on to like six people, so it just hit all of the count at once. <laughs> Okay. It's true, he can. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's find out who's slow then. Um, what's the saving throw? Or just hold on. Um, let me hit the button. Certainly. <laughs> this would be funny if they're all just slowed. <laughs> 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 Holy right. walk up. Stab. What's your stab, spell DC? Dead. Stab. Stab. <sighs> My spell save DC is eighteen. <laughs> Wisdom save. All right. So. Oh. Yeah. Tech makes it. Relit. Doesn't. Sorry, I have to go through all of them. Wool or I. Oh. Damn, I, was hope, I was hoping to get a little bit more uh, fun out of that, but yeah, no, there's a. Doesn't make it. Yes. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Whip <-lit. laughs> You leave my Eric Hooker names alone. <laughs> Ooh, Skrivak, though. Swords? Who right. threw the sword? Drew the swords. Uh, that was... One more. This fellow right here. What? Did you cast it on a gauge as well? Uh, wait, we think a go. I, well, I thought no. a gauge was cool, right? I already, yeah. I already so checked five. it. So there's five. So five I've already checked. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. So, all, all right. right. The guy who threw uh, the sword, would he have been slowed before throwing the sword? Is all he that. drew his swords. He didn't throw them. 
Well, throw it at the ground to some of the smoke monsters, I mean. Oh, no, Skravax, yeah. he made his save. Any of the okay. smoke monsters get slowed? Uh, yeah, I, just, I, have a, he I have a question for Bysair. Does your bed lock afterward. work on their saving throws? <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah! <laughs> okay, uh... Uh, it's just a plus. It's a D4. I'm gonna roll a D4, and it will subtract from from. Uh, Do Skravak. Skravak. <laughs> baby. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, so read bad luck for me. I forget what this. We rarely use it, so I forgot what it does. Um, uh, you just, just copy and paste away, it. Uh, uh, that from the uh, from the roll. The, like so this twenty becomes a seventeen. All right, there is this. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Okay, guys, oh, let's not murder the shit out of these guys. I have questions. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I slowed them. I okay. definitely appreciate. Make that. sure you Look, mark your. You had such an upper hand on intimidation <laughs> when they can't move. <laughs> <laughs> so that means everybody but Quilitic failed their saving throw. Yeah, uh, baby. Does that mean the smoke monsters haven't come out? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna say they'll they'll come out next the first thing next turn, so they are not in the room yet. But what if what if we stun or knock the shit out of this fucking bird that's about to throw? His sword? Yeah, because he's drawing it, right? So I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> don't know. He's he was he acting. Him, so okay, screw that, it. Right? The smoke monsters are there because he was acting simultaneously with your cast. There was no turn order. Okay, you don't no, know which fine. action cool. happened first. Okay, oh, I can so. dig. I can dig it. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> there's gotta be some challenge in this fight, Jesus right? Christ. You guys know, oh God, you know so how badly you're gonna kick this shit out? Like, they're a bunch of old fucking. <laughs> like, come on. Do you know how hard it I was? I, when I'm adding oh, smoke oh. monsters to make it a challenge, I mean, come on. <laughs> Frank, oh, I was man. waiting for Zanuck to just start <laughs> drawing his weapon after hearing that one bird saying, you know, like, oh, we're gonna have to kill him. Well, Pretty sure I was on high, high alert. After. Oh, I just want to say, awesome. like, really fun idea of this weird social encounter where we try and figure out who it is, because it had us all so on edge that I was, like, ready for combat spells. You know, <laughs> my, my spells yeah. are if it's not combat, you know? Oh, yeah. So it's like, all right, how many of them are there? <laughs> oh, you guys are fucked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, does anybody have a raid target um, to leave off our wonderful uh, three I'm people? I'm just still and... amused that my brain went, oh, yeah, he's Ben Luck. He's bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. That means you're going to have to roll on the table uh, in your first spell next session. <laughs> Good. All right, uh, does anybody uh, have any raid targets? I don't even know. My, my mouth could be full of bubbles, and I will be fairly useful <laughs> for this next fight. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, you know what? Let's We'll raid Guilty Cosplay. They were pretty freaking cool when um they did charity stream so oh, nice oh man Cosplay. all right perfect so with that everybody thank you for hanging out with us as we um had one of the it was intense it was doofy we had a wonderful time and uh, we will catch you guys next week as we find out uh who will win the slowed aging <laughs> oh, council and smoke monsters <laughs> or our heroes the don ford company all right we uh Thanks, everybody, for old hanging out. Old man fight! <laughs> everybody get ready for the old man fight. Oh, yeah. And you guys hey, actually found out a lot more great. than I expected. We went over to the, the retiree, uh, the, the, the fucking home, and just start beating up on the old dudes. <laughs> man. Let's fuck up this hospice care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bubba Hotep, except for a party of D and D adventurers show up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs>